What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 7SC, Chapter 151, Sanji leaving the ship, light, inappropriate moments in sports. Bayou felt that the Vinsmoke family, except for the Sanji and Reiju siblings, were normal. Others just don't have a normal one. Now that they know their strength, they still dare to call them here. I really don't know if they have no brains or if they have the courage to go to war with them. Deputy Captain Bayou, please don't be impulsive. We are not malicious, please listen to my explanation. Huang shouted quickly, you want to take our partner and say there is no malicious intent. Bayou sneered, thinking that he and these two fools have the same level of IQ. Bayou, let me handle this matter myself, Sanji said. Bayou glanced at Sanji and sighed, okay. The day I left home, I have nothing to do with the Vinsmoke family, you go back and tell that old guy, if you dare to do something to the people around me, don't blame me for destroying the kingdom of Jerma. Sanji's eyes were extremely indifferent, and his voice was extremely cold. It's up to you to destroy the kingdom of Jerma. Or are you? Ichi's face was full of disdain. In his heart, they have superhuman bodies and powerful battle suits. There is also a powerful technological force. Even the world government is very polite to them. With just these few people, dare to think about destroying the kingdom of Jerma. I don't need anyone, I am enough. If you don't believe me, you can try it. Sanji looked at Ig coldly. Really? Then let me see how much you have grown over the years. Ig's voice fell, and he rushed towards Sanji in an instant. You who rely on external forces are the real waste. Get out. Sanji snorted coldly and kicked like lightning. Boom. Ig flew out directly and fell into the sea. It seems that you have really grown a lot. Niji said he had to do it too. Niji. Stop. Don't forget what we're here for. Reiju shouted loudly. She knew very well the strength of the Straw Hat Pirates. To be able to escape unharmed from the Summit War, the strength is absolutely terrifying. This younger brother of mine has also grown up, and he will not be bullied like before, and there are so many reliable partners by his side. Humph. Niji snorted coldly and threw out a photo. Sanji frowned when he saw the photo. Because it's none other than the red-footed Zap in the photo. If you don't come with me, this old guy will die right away. Even if you can kill us, it's useless, because with time, Yuji didn't hear from us, and he would kill everyone in the restaurant on the sea. Niji said indifferently, asshole. Sanji clenched his fists, and the veins on his forehead burst. I am going to kill you. Ig rushed up from the sea, his face full of anger. Ig, stop it. Reiju gave a loud shout. Sanji. Luffy shouted and stood beside Sanji. Just want to cut some curly eyebrows. Zoro's eyes narrowed slightly, and his hand was already on the handle of the knife. Dare to attack the Straw Hat Pirates, are you ready to die? Nami spoke up. Never, don't let the Straw Hat shoot at the friends of the pirate group, it will kill people. Robin said coldly, I kind of understand why Sanji doesn't recognize you because you don't deserve it. Vivi's face was also full of anger. Although the others did not say anything, their attitude was already obvious. If you dare to take action against the friends of the Straw Hat Pirates, you will have to face their anger. If you really dare to do something to the restaurant on the sea, your kingdom of Germa doesn't need to exist. I said this, you can try it. Bai Yu said coldly, everyone calm down, we don't want to be an enemy of the Straw Hat Pirates, Sanji, you should think about this matter, my father is now in Wangguo and auntie are talking about the wedding, you know him, you want to change his decision was not easy. Reiju said with a sigh, she also wants to help Sanji, but her abilities are limited. That's all that can be done, as for the final result, it's up to Sanji himself. Yellow, Ig and Niji both shouted in unison, I'm going with you. Sanji gritted his teeth and said, Sanji. Luffy gave a shout. This is my family business, let me handle it myself, and I will definitely come back after it's done. Sanji said very seriously, Luffy, this is Sanji's own decision, we have to trust him. Bai Yu said, in fact, he had already guessed the result. East Blue's Sea Restaurant and Zap are Sanji's biggest weaknesses. You can cook and eat by yourself during this time, but don't break my kitchen utensils. Sanji said very seriously, okay, let's go. Bai Yu waved his hand, he was going to go there too. Sanji was just a step ahead. And now Sanji's strength is not weak, even if he can't defeat Big Mom, the others will still have no problem. Sanji, maybe you can use this thing. Frankie took out a black box and handed it to Sanji. Thanks. Sanji was polite and accepted the box. Then the four of them left immediately. When Sanji left, the mood of the people on the boat was also greatly affected. What are you doing? Sanji isn't coming back, and we let Sanji go, and we didn't say we wouldn't follow. Bai Yu said. It seems so. Usopp's eyes lit up. Don't worry, Sanji's strength, plus the super secret weapon I gave him, is absolutely very safe. Frankie said with a smile. Frankie, my Thor suit isn't ready yet. Enel's eyes narrowed. Your thunder and lightning are too strong. I'm adjusting. 3.6 will be completed soon. I guarantee that after we arrive in the world, everyone will wear steel armor. Frankie said quickly. Do we have it too? 
Chopper's eyes were gone in an instant. Of course. Leave it to the super me. Usopp. Come and help. Frankie said and dragged Usopp into the dock system to start work. Luffy. Hand over Ace's life card to Nami. Let's find Ace first, investigate what happened to the Whitebeard pirates, and then go to the world. Bayou has always been brooding about Whitebeard's sudden announcement of disbanding the pirates. He must know why. Luffy immediately gave Nami the life card in his hat. Jinbei. Yuma Ning. Nami immediately judged the direction. Thousand Sunny rides the wind and waves and sails on the sea. Chapter 152. The gold in the sky was robbed. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. Somewhere in the new world. You pulled me back in such a hurry, just to watch the scenery here. Sabo is very depressed, he originally wanted to have a good time with his younger brother whom he hadn't seen for many years. As a result, he was forcibly pulled away by the dragon and came here. The boat has been parked here for a whole day and night without moving. Long did not say what he was going to do. Sabo, how do I treat you? Dragon asked, what do you want me to do? Sabo knows dragons too well. Although it looks very serious at ordinary times, as long as you say this sentence, there is definitely no good thing. What you said will hurt uncle's heart. Is uncle that kind of person? Long looked sad. Stop. You'd better just tell me what to do. Sabo surrendered directly and found that his current dragon was getting more and more shameless. Wait. It is estimated that a warship will come over. You go to grab the supplies from the warship. A smile appeared on Long's face immediately. Robbery of warships. Sabo frowned. He felt that this matter was definitely not so simple. Yes, it's the robbery of warships. The dragon nodded immediately. However you look at it, you are very strange, just rob a warship and you will be dragged here by twelve. Sabo is very suspicious. There are not many people in the revolutionary army, but there are still people who rob a warship. The most important thing is that it is very abnormal for Long to bring him personally to grab a warship. You brat, why are there so many problems now? Go ahead and grab it later, and talk about it when you're done. Long's face became serious, because someone came over. Boss. Three warships found at nine o'clock. The soldier opened his mouth to report. It should be, get everyone ready. Remember to cover your face. A smile appeared on the dragon's face. After waiting all day and night, it's finally here. Heavenly gold. He grabbed it. Yes, he is here to grab the gold in the sky. After Bai Yu talked with him, he originally wanted to go directly to the base camp, but he got the root of heavenly gold from Shang, and he was ready to do it directly. Anyway, it's the same if you start early and start late. The bear's body is huge and the features are too obvious, he can only pull Sabo out. Face covering. Sabo frowned, aren't you going to grab the gold? You're not stupid, you finally thought of it, go get ready. A smile appeared on Long's face, our revolutionary army will make changes in the future. Since the lift has been lifted, what face is there to cover? Sabo said and rushed out. This, asshole boy, fire me. Long immediately ordered to open fire, and then flew up himself. Grabbing the gold in the sky is not a trivial matter, and it must be resolved quickly. There is only one vice admiral, marine who escorts the gold from the sky, who is the opponent of Sabo and the dragon. As for the warship, the dragon waved his hand and destroyed it directly. The battle was over in less than five minutes. Others are responsible for moving things. By you, it's true, it's still fun to grab gold. Long looked at the treasures all over the ground and was very excited. If you do this, we will start a complete war with the world government. Sabo said, didn't we start a war with the world government long ago? Long smiled, and now he wants to make a name and let all the people in the world know that they are fighting with the world government and are working hard to build a truly peaceful world. I'm really curious what Bayou said to you. Sabo is really curious, it's really amazing to be able to say this about this stubborn dragon. You'll know this when you see him. Long said, took out a few boxes of banknotes and handed them to Sabo, you take this money, go to Bayou and the others, and then you go back to the headquarters for a meeting immediately. Okay. Sabo nodded, he could feel that the dragon must have made a big move. Boss, I found a good thing. A life soldier ran over, holding a small wooden box in his hand. What? Long asked curiously. It's a devil fruit. The soldier immediately lifted the box and said. Yes, I'll give you a credit and go get busy. The dragon handed devil fruit to Sabo, this is also handed over to buy you. Okay, then I'll go. Sabo didn't say much, picked up his backpack, got on the boat and left quickly. Hurry up, we have to withdraw. The dragon shouted loudly. I also said in my heart that a new era is coming. What did you say? Gold was robbed in the sky. Qingxiang stood up excitedly. Heavenly gold is very important to world government. Although it was only a robbery, it was definitely not a trivial matter. The celestial dragon's incident has just ended, and now heavenly gold has been robbed again. This position is too difficult. It's a group of masked people, they are very strong, and there is a person who seems to be able to control. Our warship was blown away in an instant. There was only one young man without a mask, but his speed was too fast, we did not take pictures. Photo. The phone worm made the sound again. Okay, come back first. 
After Aokiji finished speaking, he hung up the phone bug. The brows were furrowed together. The phone bug rang again. Aokiji, is the position of Marshall still comfortable? Sengoku's voice came out, and the phone bug imitated Sengoku's expression, which was very interesting. Say something. Aokiji is on fire right now. No time to chat with Sengoku. There's something wrong with Dressrosa. Doflamingo and all his men have been arrested, and Kazaru has arrested Virgo in the G5 branch, he is Doflamingo's undercover, and, the Golden Lion has escaped, and he will likely attack naval headquarters recently, the Straw Hat Pirates also ran away. Wait a minute. Let me think about it 230, yes, the Beast's Pirates died three times, and there seems to be a movement in the Germa Kingdom of North Blue, you ask Kazaru to bring people back, and Garp and I are going to continue investigation. Sengoku said a lot in one go. But none of it was good news for Aokiji. Call. Xingxiang took a deep breath and calmed down, I see, Tian Shengjin has just been robbed, you guys should also investigate by the way. As the gold in the sky really robbed? Garp's voice sounded. What do you know? Aokiji asked quickly. I don't know, we both don't know anything, that's it, goodbye. Sengoku hung up the phone immediately after speaking. You idiot, you want to kill us both. Sengoku looked at Garp angrily. It's not really that by you, is it? Garp asked suspiciously. If it wasn't for him, or what your son did, it would definitely not be able to escape the two of them. Sengoku didn't doubt anyone at all. After so many years, no one dared to do anything to the gold in the sky. The only people who dare to do this are the people of Straw Hat crew who are not afraid of the sky and the earth, and there are only dragons. And the two of them also happened to hear what they said about robbing the gold in the sky. Mr. Garp, come and have a drink. Mr. Sengoku, don't be unhappy, let's play a game. Chapter 153, The Remnants of the Old Times Whitebeard Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. It looks like the town has been deserted for years. Lots of battle marks. Will Whitebeard be here? Hey, anyone. The Straw Hat crew came to this unknown island with Ace's life card. Seeing this deserted town, everyone was a little puzzled. Behind the waterfall, Enel said. Boom. A fire burst out. Ace. Luffy shouted in surprise. Luffy. Ace froze for a moment, then quickly landed on the ground. Why are you here? I heard that Uncle Whitebeard had an accident, so I came to find you. When Luffy saw that Ace was all right, his mood improved immediately. Ace, where's Whitebeard? Bayou asked directly, his main purpose for coming here was Whitebeard. In there, come with me. Ace nodded, looking a little serious. What the hell happened to you? Bayou asked curiously. Go inside and talk, Dad will tell you everything, he's waiting for you. Ace said and led the way directly ahead. There was no words all the way until after Joe Jin waterfall. What a beautiful place. Compared to the outside, it's a paradise. I can't believe that there is such a place behind this waterfall. Seeing the small village that looked like a paradise in front of them, everyone couldn't help but sigh. The captains of the Whitebeard Pirates. Nami exclaimed. Luffy by you and you two come in, the others stay here first. Marco spoke up. Can't we go in? Nami asked. Dad just said let the two of them in. Marco shook his head and said. You wait here. By you said to the crowd. Then came to a dilapidated room. Whitebeard had tubes all over his body, and his breath was very weak. After seeing Bayou and Luffy coming in, he opened his eyes. But the eyes are blood red, very terrifying. What happened to you, and you have been so troubled for so long? Bayou walked over to Whitebeard and healing jutsu activated. However, his brow suddenly wrinkled, Whitebeard's injury was too serious, it was a miracle that he didn't die. Both Kaido and healing jutsu are activated at the same time. Don't waste your efforts, I know my own body. Whitebeard shook his head, I asked you to come, but I have one thing to ask of you. Don't talk yet, Bayou hits energy for healing. Kaido and healing jutsu in Kido are both healing skills. Using both at the same time, the recovery speed is very fast. But at this moment, a force full of destructive aura appeared. This force began to frantically destroy the newly repaired part. Puff. Whitebeard spat out a mouthful of blood. Dad. Marco exclaimed. Damn it, I want to see what you are. Bai Yu's anger also came up, he finally repaired it, and this power came to destroy. Marco, lend me the flame of regeneration. You, can you cure daddy? Marco's eyes widened. As long as there was a glimmer of hope, he was willing to come back to everything, even his own life. It's a bit, tricky, but not impossible, plus your regenerative flames, it should have some effect, and you call in Chopper. It was also the first time that Bayou encountered such a thing. Healing Jutsu's recovery ability is very strong, whether it is an internal injury or an external injury. Kaido in Kido is also a specialized healing skill. It's very strange that these two skills can't deal with that strange power together. Good. Marco didn't care whether Whitebeard agreed or not, and immediately ran out and brought Chopper in. It's useless. Don't waste your efforts. Whitebeard waved his hand. I asked you to come because I have something to tell you. After I got back to New World, Kaido and Linlin were taking my turf, ahem. Okay. Let's talk about it later, it's too early for you old guy to die. If you don't have Whitebeard on this sea, it will be meaningless. 
Bai Yu said with a smile. He didn't believe it anymore, he couldn't save Whitebeard with his abilities. I am a remnant of the old era. There is no ship that can carry me in the new era. Now it is your world. Whitebeard shook his head and sighed. Really, now there is a guy who claims to be your own son and is making waves on the sea in your name, don't you not know? This is an isolated village, it seems that it is really possible not to know. Hearing this, Whitebeard's eyes widened, you mean my biological son? You seem surprised, have you been on the same boat with that Miss Ba Jin? Bai Yu asked while healing. It seems that there is such a woman. Quote. Whitebeard thought about it and said. On the pirate ship in rocks. Bai Yu asked again. You really know a lot. It was indeed when she was at Rock's Pirate that she seemed to be a doctor, and then she got off the ship early for no apparent reason. I don't know too much. Whitebeard looked at Bai Yu in surprise. Not many people know about him at Rock's Pirate, and after so many years, it is impossible for the younger generation to know about him. Then is it between you? How is it possible? Such a weak and ugly woman. How can I possibly like it? Whitebeard was instantly excited. Okay, no, no, don't get excited. Chopper pays attention to that power reappearing. Bai Yu immediately became serious, and the power of Kaido and healing Jutsu wrapped the destructive aura. That force full of destructive aura seemed to be intentional, okay, and after knowing that it was surrounded, it began to struggle frantically. Whitebeard's face immediately turned ugly. Chopper. Chopper understood immediately, and used healing Jutsu to paralyze Whitebeard and faint. Bai Yu cut Whitebeard's stomach directly with a scalpel. The power of Kaido and healing Jutsu directly drew the power of that destructive aura away. Chopper immediately transformed into a human form, and quickly healed Whitebeard's wound. But Bai Yu's face was a little bad, this force is very strong. Even if he used all his strength, he could not control this power. Boom. A flame rose from Bai Yu's palm. The temperature in the room rose instantly. What flame is this? Marco was startled, he actually felt the fear of this flame. And that force full of destructive aura went directly into Bai Yu's body after contacting the flames. Chapter 154. The Mysterious Power of Destruction. Light. Inappropriate Moments in Sports. Puff. After this force entered Bai Yu's body, it immediately began to frantically destroy. As if in revenge Bai Yu took it out of Whitebeard's body. Bai Yu. Chopper exclaimed. I'm fine, you two hurry up and treat Whitebeard, I'll go out. After Bai Yu finished speaking, he immediately disappeared. It is very inconvenient for him to find a way to suppress this destructive force in his body. Come to an abandoned house outside the island. Into my body. Just be honest with me. Bai Yu roared, the power in his body exploded, and he wanted to clear this power out. But it was useless, even if he used the power of Shira's skills, he couldn't expel him. Instead, it angered this force. Even more frantically destroy Bai Yu's body. Damn it, since you're not going out, I'll swallow you. Bai Yu roared, and the power of Shira exploded in his body, directly swallowing this destructive power. Puff, a mouthful of blood spurted out. Shira, swallow it for me. Bai Yu clenched his fists tightly, clenched his teeth, and terrifying flames burned all over his body. Under the full blast, that power was swallowed up little by little. After 230, Bai Yu's physical strength also reached the limit, and he fainted directly. When he woke up, the Straw Hat crew were all around him. Bai Yu, you are awake. Nami saw Bai Yu woke up and hugged him excitedly. How long have I been in a coma? Bai Yu shook his dizzy head and asked. You've been in a coma for three days and three nights, scaring us to death. Nami wiped her tears and said. How is Whitebeard? Bai Yu asked quickly. Don't make him so miserable, Whitebeard is still dead, that's a big loss. Whitebeard is recovering and is fine. Chopper said immediately. It's fine. Bai Yu breathed a sigh of relief, finally not wasting his efforts. Why are you looking at me like that? Bai Yu found that everyone looked at him strangely. Bai Yu, are you really okay? Luffy asked quickly. What can I do? Bai Yu is very strange, he is better than ever before, and he feels that his strength has increased a lot. Look, BCDG, Robin took out a mirror. F asterisk K. Bai Yu was frightened and directly swears. Because his black hair has turned into white hair. G U la la la, you saved my life again, boy Bai Yu. Whitebeard came in, then you owe me two lives. Bai Yu smiled, ignoring the hair thing. White is just white, and it looks pretty cool. Wu la la la, let's go out and talk. Whitebeard laughed, it just so happens that I also have a lot of things I want to ask you. Bai Yu had many questions in his heart. The force of destruction in this passage is too strong. And it's just this, if there are more, he will die. He always thought that his strength could stand at the top of the world. But he never thought that just this force would make him almost die. The two walked to the abandoned town. This is my hometown. I used to be a place of nowhere because I couldn't pay the gold in the sky. When I was a child, it was destroyed by pirates. Whitebeard said as he walked, I left here and became a pirate. Okay, I know all about you. Let's talk about the result of your battle with Andy and Kaido. Bai Yu interrupted Whitebeard's chatter. Although I can't exert my full strength, I still have no problem dealing with the two of them, and they are also afraid of me, so they withdrew directly. 
Whitebeard said proudly. Then where did your injury come from? Bai Yu's brows furrowed, since he didn't get hurt from Kaido and Aunt Ma, who the hell is he? After the war, our pirate ship was also damaged, and we were going to find a place to repair it, but we encountered an island that was not recording the pointer. Whitebeard paused. You old man, keep talking. Bai Yu asked anxiously. The island is full of life and there are many magical animals. We repaired there for seven days. Just when we were about to leave, an unusually terrifying force erupted on that island. Just in an instant, all the life on the island was completely deprived. I have never seen such a terrifying power, it is a power full of destruction, and my shock fruit ability is completely incomparable. In order to protect the children, I can only use all my strength to resist the power of destruction. Although I finally blocked it, this power also entered my body. I know that I won't last long, and I can only disband the pirate group. Don't let outsiders know that I'm dying. I originally wanted to wait for you to come, because I wanted to ask you to take care of my stupid sons, but I didn't expect that you would save my life again. Whitebeard also looked at the distant sky with some emotion. Do you remember where that island was? Bai Yu asked quickly. After the destructive power erupted, the island disappeared, and I didn't notice any other aura. That is definitely not the power of a human master, and even in the Devil Fruit illustrations, there is no record of that terrifying power of destruction. The only, explanation, is that it is the force of nature, the force that really destroys the world. Whitebeard looked at Bai Yu very seriously, I know what you're thinking, don't try to control that kind of power. I'm not that stupid yet, and you're fine now, what are you going to do? Bai Yu changed the subject. You should know my physical condition. Even if I get better now, I won't survive for a few years. It's good to rest here. There was a look of exhaustion and relief on Whitebeard's face. Okay, whatever you want, since things have been clarified, we'll leave. Bai Yu waved his hand and was about to leave. He still has to go to Auntie's place, and he has not forgotten the three historical texts. If there is a need for me, and I am not dead, I will definitely be there. Whitebeard said very solemnly, then don't die too early, the real new world hasn't arrived yet. Bai Yu smiled, his purpose has been achieved. The next step is to put the other three emperors aside and find Raftal. Take a look at what the legendary treasure is. Chapter 155, Ace's Exclusive Skills. Inappropriate Moments in Sports. Learn more. Ace, come with me. Luffy yelled. Ace clenched his fists tightly, and his heart was very tangled. He wanted to continue the adventure, after all, he was only 20 years old. But he still couldn't bear his father Whitebeard. Go, you should live for yourself, not for my old man. How could Whitebeard not know what Ace was thinking? The people of Straw Hat Crew are so charming, and in just a few days, they have been recognized by everyone in the village. And his sons are also very good to Straw Hat Crew. He even suspected that if he really died, as long as Straw Hat Crew spoke, his sons would probably join directly. Dad, Ace's tears flowed down instantly. Don't worry, the old man can live for a few more years. When you find the big secret treasure, come back and tell me about it. Whitebeard waved his hand, turned and left. No one noticed the tears in the corners of Whitebeard's eyes. Ace, go ahead, Dad will be fine if we take care of him. Let's go, don't delay the time of sailing. Straw Hat crew take good care of Ace. I have time to remember to come back and see us. The captains of the Whitebeard pirates waved goodbye. Thank you all for taking care of you for so long. Ace bowed and thanked very solemnly. After that, I jumped directly onto Thousand Sunny. Goodbye everyone, goodbye. The Straw Hat crew also waved goodbye. Luffy's face was full of joy. Because Ace got on his boat. Go, find Sanji. Luffy shouted excitedly. Start sailing. To celebrate Ace joining, I propose a banquet to celebrate. Luffy shouted again. Who cooks food without Sanji? Zoro said. Ooh, Luffy then remembered that Sanji wasn't on the boat. Forget it, let me come. Bayou is very helpless, and now he can only do it. The food made by other people is fine. You can still cook. Ace looked at Bayou suspiciously. He found that there seemed to be nothing that Bayou couldn't. Sanji's cooking skills are all handed over by Bayou. Nami said aside. Bayou, do you have any skills to give to Ace? Luffy asked quickly. Yes, don't worry, the banquet will talk later. Bayou said and walked into the kitchen. Nami Robin, Wei Wei's third daughter also immediately followed in to help. If Sanji was there, he would definitely be jealous, and when he was cooking, there was no one to help. No one will come to serve the dish until it is finished. Skill. Ace looked puzzled. Bayou has many amazing skills, just like Chopper's healing jutsu and my eight inner gates, each of which is very powerful. Luffy briefly introduced it, and every skill is almost as tailored for us, it's a perfect fit for us. Zoro said. How strong is he? Ace is also very sai. Brother Ace, after you have learned new skills, we are going to learn from each other. Jinbei patted Ace on the shoulder. He was still thinking about the battle between the two of them three years ago. Jinbei, it seems that you have also acquired powerful skills. Ace smiled and looked at Jinbei. The people of Straw Hat crew, apart from Luffy, he is most familiar with Jinbei. Jinbei's skills are amazing, 
Luffy said exaggeratedly. There is no way, Jinbei is playing with water, no, playing with the sea, and is simply a killer of capable people. Ace, your flame power is also very strong, come and give some flame, I will study it, and give you a Vulcan battle suit. Frankie took out a special container and came to Ace's side. Said it here, Ace's face was confused, and he found that the people of the Straw Hat Pirates were strange. Well, input more flames, don't be afraid of bad things. Frankie looked excited, he had research materials again, and the power of the steel battle suit could be improved a lot. Ace was puzzled, and his arm spewed out raging fire. The originally violent flames were completely absorbed by the special container in Frankie's hands. Super. Okay. Frankie shouted excitedly, put away the container and ran. For flowers. Be careful. Before the words were finished, Frankie was gone. Don't worry. Okay. My thunder and lightning are more violent than your flames, but for that guy, our power is just a tool for his research. Enel said. Okay. Ace also nodded helplessly. It turned out that I didn't join the Straw Hat Pirates. I felt that these people were quite normal, but after joining, I found out, where are normal people here? At this time, a strong aroma came out. It smells so good. It feels even better than what Sanji makes. It's delicious. I want to eat meat. Luffy's saliva came out. Point zero. The others weren't as bad as Luffy, but they weren't much better either. Frankie also ran out after smelling the fragrance. The banquet has begun. Bayou walked out with the three daughters carrying the food. Soon a table full of delicious food was set up. Luffy, you're drooling over the dishes. Usopp yelled. Okay, let's eat. Bai Yu's voice fell, and everyone immediately began to eat in large gulps. The originally neat desktop was instantly embarrassed. But everyone enjoyed it. It didn't take long, and there were only empty plates left on the table, and it was the kind of plates that didn't stain at all. It's so delicious, and I feel like my body has increased a lot. Ace lay on the chair, very satisfied. Since you have joined us, I will not favor one over another, so I will give you a skill. Bai Yu said and put his finger on Ace's eyebrow. In an instant, Ace's whole body burst into flames. Call. Ace took a deep breath, and the flame disappeared instantly. The breath of the whole person has changed. Thank you Vice Captain. Ace solemnly thank you. You're welcome, it's all my own. Bayou smiled slightly and didn't care. Ace, what skills did Bayou teach you? Luffy asked quickly. About the skill of fire, the name is fire. Ace answered. 10,000. Chapter 156. Fool Wilbur. Huo Yan. From the world of Wushan, the ability of fire Xing one of the five players, is different because of the different rules of the world, so please experience it yourself. Yes, it is the power of Wushan Fire Walk. The power of fire and Mara Mara Fruit, these two powers are combined, and the strength of Ace will definitely increase by leaps and bounds. As long as Ace trains hockey, I believe that he will soon become the top fighting force. Ace, brother, let's find a place to compete. Jinbei is full of fighting spirit. Okay, I also want to try the power of the new skill. Ace also wanted to fight the last one. Then count me in, I also want to see which of Huo and Lei is stronger. Enel spoke from the side. If that's the case, count me as one. How could Zoro miss such a fight? I want it too. I also want, two three zeros. Luffy shouted excitedly. I also want, Chopper also shouted. My heartbeat is also a little faster, although I have no heart, hoo hoo hoo. Brooke wanted to get in, too. Since everyone is so interested, I will be there early, and then everyone will come to a friendly match, and the winner will be rewarded. Bayou looked at the excited crowd with a smile on his face. What reward? Luffy's eyes widened immediately. Temporarily. Secret. When the time comes. Bayou smiled mysteriously. Seeing this, everyone can't wait to get into a fight now. There is a ship approaching, and there are still many people. Enel said. It's a pirate ship. Usopp took a look at the binoculars. You want to do it, and now is the chance. Bayou glanced at the pirate ship that appeared in the distance, with a smile on his face. I didn't expect to meet this fool so quickly. Yes, the pirate ship that came was the fool Wilbur who called himself Whitebeard too. Although that guy's IQ is not high, his strength is definitely not weak. After all, if he could cut off the arm of Black Arm Zephyr, this record is enough to show his strength. Boom. The cannonball exploded on the sea, and the water splashed into the sky. I didn't expect to meet the Straw Hat Pirates here. It's great. Wilbur. Defeat Straw Hat Crew, you are the fifth emperor of the New World. Miss Ba Jin was so excited that he spit out his saliva. I want to be king. Wilbur sucked the snot back. Five emperors. Five emperors. Captain Wilbur of the five emperors. Defeat the straw hat crew. A group of younger brothers began to cheer loudly. How dare you call yourself Whitebeard too just like you. Enel suddenly appeared and looked at Wilbur with contempt. How could someone like Whitebeard have such a son? This is simply an insult to Whitebeard. It's your father's name who is making waves on the sea. Ace fell from the sky and looked at Wilbur with a bad look. Natural. Thunder fruit ability Enel. Logia Mara Mara fruit ability Porgas D Ace. Two Logias. After seeing the two of them, the little guy immediately stopped moving. What about Logia? Kill them. Miss Ba Jin immediately shouted. 
Kill them. Kill you. Wilbur shouted, picked up the same difficult knife as Whitebeard in both hands, jumped high and slashed at Enel. It wasn't a wise choice. Enel shook his head and disappeared instantly. Boom. Wilbur cut a huge gap in the board with this knife. God punishment. Enel floated in the air with a wave of his hand. A thunder shot down and hit Wilbur. Boom. The thunderbolt charred Wilbur's body to black and fell to the ground. That's it. Enel froze for a moment, he didn't exert any strength, and the man fell. Wilb. Miss Ba Jin shouted, ran over quickly, and burst into tears. You jump into the sea yourself, or shall I help you? Ace said. Jump. Without any hesitation, the little boys immediately started jumping into the sea. I beg you, I am the only son, let us go, he has no strength to fight. Woo woo, we won't be pirates in the future. I beg you, for the sake of this old woman, just let our mother and son go. Miss Ba Jin knelt on the ground and kept begging for mercy, crying was a sad one. Those who didn't know thought that Wilbur was dead. Ace frowned. He knows that Enel is very strong, but this guy can't be so weak, right? Your acting is so bad. Enel mercilessly dismantled it. It turned out to be, acting. Ace suddenly realized. You deserve to be Luffy's older brother, you both have the same brain. Enel looked at Ace oddly. Look what he's like, how can I still act? Ace, I know you're a good man. Leave us alone, please. Miss Ba Jin said and climbed towards Ace. Just as he was about to get in front of Ace, his eyes instantly became sharp. What? The dense array of hidden weapons went straight to Ace. Ace raised his hand, and the terrifying high temperature instantly melted the hidden weapon. I knew you would do this for a long time, do you really think I'm a fool? If he really believed this old woman, he would really be a fool. At this moment, Wilbur on the ground went straight to Ace like a rocket, very fast. The huge difficult knife swept out. Fire punch. Ace punched out, and the terrifying flame instantly engulfed Wilbur. Boom. Wilbur rushed out of the flame and hit the body of 3.6 Ace. Ace was directly knocked out. Your observation hockey is too weak, it can be hit. Enel shook his head, I'll do it anyway. Brontosaurus. Boom. The dragon formed by thunder and lightning directly entangled Wilbur. A terrifying current charred Wilbur's full color to black. Puff. Wilbur fell to the ground again. Stand up Wilbur. Miss Ba Jin shouted loudly. Mom, it hurts. Wilbur actually stood up. What kind of monster is this guy? Enel frowned. He could feel that Wilbur didn't even use hockey, and only relied on the Thunder Dragon under his own hard resistance. It was a bit outrageous that the Thunder Dragon didn't die after being hit, and it only hurt a little. Chapter 157, Waste Utilization. This, Wilb is a bit interesting. Bai Yu was also a little curious. He was hit twice by Enel's thunder and once by Ace's fire fist. It was only a little painful. This monster's physique is indeed rare. The most important thing is that Wilbur has not used any attacks so far. Not even hockey is used. If Wilbur can't do this, he doesn't believe it a hundred times. So whether this guy is really stupid or pretending to be stupid remains to be verified. This guy is very wrong. He handed it to me, and you killed that old woman. Enel said that the lightning flashed on his body and attacked Will directly. Why don't you deal with the old woman? Ace shouted in dissatisfaction. Don't hurt mom. Wilbur shouted, picked up the big sword and slashed at Ace. Boom. The ship's plate is broken. The power of this blow is obviously much greater than that of the previous blow. And it's fast too. Crossfire. Ace two index fingers crossed to form a cross. A cross flame went straight to Wilbur. Well, Wilbur's body immediately burst into flames, screaming in pain. Thor's gun. The lightning in Enel's hand condensed into a spear. Puff. The lightning spear instantly penetrated Wilbur's heart. It hurts. You all be damned. Wilbur let out a roar, and the flames and lightning on his body disappeared instantly. The muscles in the body seemed to have swelled a lot. Pick up the big knife with both hands and swing the knife. Boom. The huge slash went straight to the two of them. The two immediately elementalized in advance to avoid the slash. At this time, Wilbur's huge body came to Enel in an instant. Hit Enel with a punch from armament hockey. Boom. Enel flew out backwards. Wilbur swept out with the big knife in his other hand, heading straight for Ace. Firefly Dharma. While avoiding the attack, Ace created a lot of light balls like fireflies floating around Wilbur with both hands. Boom. A huge explosion sounded. Wilbur. Miss Ba Jin roared. You ugly old woman, you dare to slander dad, you should die. Fire punch. Don't hurt mom. Wilbur stood in front of Miss Ba Jin with a large knife and swung it out. The flames were cut in half and slammed on the pirate ship. Fake crazy bastard. Enel's angry voice sounded, and thunder and lightning surrounded his body. God punishment Thor's sword. With a roar from Enel, the thunder and lightning in the sky began to rage, and the dense sword of thunder floated in the air. Fall. Rumble. All the thunder swords fell on Wilbur's body like rain. Mom, I'm in pain. Wilbur cried out. Enel in a state of rage is very terrifying. Even if Wilbur had terrifying healing powers, it wouldn't be better. Die. The thunder sword triggers the thunder in the sky. Boom. The violent thunder and lightning directly smashed the pirate ship into pieces. Wilbur and Miss Barkin also fell into the water. 
The world is finally clean. Enel let out all his anger, and his mood improved. Enel. Nami shouted angrily. What's wrong? Enel instantly appeared beside Nami. Boom. Nami went up and punched, gritted his teeth and said, You have dismantled the boat, and the treasure is gone. Forget it. They don't look like they are rich. Bai Yu shook his head. Jinbei, you go get that fool up, and the old woman will let him die. Wilbur is still useful, it would be a pity if he died, at least not now. Okay. Although Jinbei didn't know what Bai Yu was going to do, he still went into the water to find people. Soon, Wilbur was thrown on the deck. Although he was seriously injured, he did not die. Not only that, the injury is still healing quickly. Interesting ability, lock him up with sea stone. Bai Yu said. After the sea stone was locked, Wilbur's ability to heal stopped. However, it did not stop completely, but healed very slowly. This guy's physique is also very special. Chopper, take some blood and study it. Bai Yu found that Wilbur's body has a strong self-healing power. Even if his ability is limited by sea stone, he can still heal himself. Why did you keep him? Nami asked suspiciously. Mainly because this guy looks stupid and ugly, I really can't stand it. Use him to buy people, this guy is very valuable. Bai Yu smiled, took out the phone bug, and called Sengoku. What's up? Sengoku's voice came out. You help me inform Zephyr that I have a gift for him, and let him come to find me, he should be able to find me. Bai Yu said directly. Bastard, won't you find him yourself? Sengoku was furious. If I can find him, I won't be looking for you, that's all, hurry up. After Bai Yu finished speaking, he directly hung up the phone bug. Not giving Sengoku a chance to get angry at all. Ha ha ha, Sengoku, you have today too, the fish is hooked. Garp laughed, picked up the rod and pulled a big fish into the boat. That boy Bai Yu is looking for Zephyr, will there be something wrong? Sengoku was lost in thought. Why do you think so much? Let Zephyr figure it out for himself, hurry up and bring the Senbei, don't try to get away with it. Garp stretched out his hand for Senbei. Sengoku hit Garp's hand and turned his head into the cabin. The other side, Straw Hat crew looked at Bai Yu suspiciously. No idea why Bai Yu contacted that new marine. Zephyr is the former marine admiral, who has been catching pirates for decades and has never killed a pirate, so it is not called not killing admiral, but the pirates are not grateful and killed Zephyr's whole family. Z-230 began to hate pirates and resigned marine admiral, but was retained by the then Marshal Kong Kai, and he was not completely disappointed with marine at that time, so he stayed as marine's instructor. The three marine admirals later were all Zephyr's students, including many well-known marine vice admiral. Most of Marine's backbone was cultivated by Zephyr. It can be said that Marine can be so powerful now, Zephyr has great credit. Bai Yu slowly told everyone about Zephyr. Woo, so touching. Frankie burst into tears. Fortunately, I didn't kill him last time, otherwise I really killed a good man. Luffy is also very happy. No, then why would he form a new Marine, which seems to be against Marine? Nami asked suspiciously. This matter has something to do with Ace. Bai Yu looked at Ace. I, Ace looked puzzled. He hadn't even seen Zephyr, how could he have anything to do with him? About a few years ago, the ship Zephyr led the internship was attacked by pirates, all the students on board were killed, only two survived, and Zephyr also chopped off an arm. The guy who chopped off Zephyr's arm is the fool. Bayou pointed to Wilbur on the ground, because of saving you, naval headquarters was destroyed, Marine Ford sank, Marine suffered heavy losses, and couldn't suppress the pirates, so the world government found a few Shichibukai, and one of them was this fool. Just then, the phone rang. Chapter 159 Golden Lion Major League. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. Zephyr opened his eyes slowly. Then he sat up abruptly. Mr. Zephyr, you finally woke up, how are you feeling? Ain asked quickly. Ain, where's by you? Zephyr asked coldly. They've left. Ain said in a low voice. Huh. Zephyr took a deep breath and looked at Ain, what conditions did you agree to him? He didn't say anything, he just left after the treatment, and he didn't say anything about the conditions. Ai Yin didn't say Bai Yu's conditions, she was afraid that if she did, Teacher Zephyr would definitely go all out. Moreover, Bai Yu only talked about it, and did not force her away. If she was forcibly taken away, no one could stop her. Let's go, act according to the original plan, there is no need for pirates in this world. Zephyr's eyes were firm, he felt that his body was in good shape, and that plan could continue. Although he understood what Bai Yu said, he still decided to end it all in his own way. Even at the expense of his life. At this time, another person who wanted to take revenge on World 627 also began to act. However, Zephyr wants to destroy the pirates. The Golden Lion, on the other hand, wanted to eliminate Marine. The two are completely two extremes. But the Golden Lion doesn't just want to destroy Marine, it wants to dominate the world. Destroying Marine was only the first step in his plan. Although Golden Lion did not invite Bayou, he also invited dozens of famous pirate groups in the New World. For ordinary pirates, the Golden Lion is a legendary figure. The terrifying power that used to be able to compete with Roger and Whitebeard. He was also the first person in history to escape from the deep sea prison. How could the invited pirates disagree with these names? 
in addition to the ability of the Golden Lion. Tens of thousands of pirates were immediately summoned. Today is the first day of our alliance, let's celebrate. Golden Lion said loudly, Boss Golden Lion, how do you celebrate? Banquet. It doesn't mean anything. How is it possible? Our Golden Lion Alliance's celebration must be to kill Marine. The pirate captains immediately started talking. Everyone be quiet. The Golden Lion shouted, Be quiet immediately. Everyone come with me. Golden Lion said and walked out of the room. Many pirates also followed immediately. Here it is. Naval headquarters. No, if you want to be so exciting, come up and attack naval headquarters directly. Ha ha ha. Golden Lion boss is different. This is. Celebration. The pirates immediately became excited when they saw the naval headquarters below. It's not the time to go to war. I'm here today mainly to celebrate the establishment of our Golden Lion Alliance. Another reason is to tell the world that my Golden Lion is back. Golden Lion's voice fell. The pirate ship and some small islands floating in the air quickly fell towards naval headquarters. Boom. Boom. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. What the hell is going on? It's heaven. Look. Ship in the sky. Golden Lion. Aokiji was furious that the new naval headquarters had just been built. Now to be repaired again. And he is also in a very bad mood now, the heavenly gold was robbed, and Celestial Dragons is asking him to get it back. There are more and more pirates on the Grand Line, and the new world is getting more and more chaotic. At this time, the Golden Lion came to attack the naval headquarters. If he let the Golden Lion run away, then he, the Marine Marshal, would really not have to do it. Fujitora. Never let the Golden Lion run away. Aokiji was already prepared, BCFJ, but fortunately he didn't let Fujitora leave. Fujitora's gravity fruit is exactly the nemesis of Golden Lion Light Lion fruit. I also want to meet this legendary pirate. Fujitora walked out after saying that. Ha ha ha. It's so funny to see those marines. Fun. So much fun. This is the celebration. I'm so happy to see marine panicking. The pirates looked down at the embarrassed marine and were very excited. At sea, they were so embarrassed when they met marine. Now they're in the sky, and it's marine who's embarrassed. And just when they are excited, the pirate ship floating in the air began to shake. Golden Lion's expression changed. He sensed danger and quickly controlled the pirate ship to lift off. Come down. Fujitora swung a knife into the air. The pirate ship descended rapidly. Stop for me. The Golden Lion roared, and the pirate ship stopped. Kacha. Cracks began to appear in the hull. The battle between two powerful people is definitely not something this ship can withstand. What the hell is going on? It's so heavy. The bones of the whole body will be shattered. Golden Lion boss. Save us. All the pirates lay on the board, motionless. Shut up. Golden Lion is not happy. Today is the day of his alliance, and he just wants to celebrate, destroy naval headquarters, and recruit more men. But he didn't expect that it would be unfavorable for him to be a teacher, and he would encounter a person with the same ability as him. Lion Majesty Earth Coiling. The Golden Lion roared, swept up the ground of naval headquarters, and headed straight for Fujitora. Fruit. Has the ability really awakened? The ground around Fujitora began to sink continuously, spreading rapidly around. Gold's attack was also diffused. Gravity spreads to the pirate ship floating in the air. Click. The pirate ship can't bear such gravity. Start to crumble. All the pirates on the pirate ship fell. Slash wave. The famous sword on Golden Lion's leg waved, and it rushed out with a huge blow. The ground was cut in an instant. Golden Lion looked at the pirates that had fallen, and he had no choice. Gritting his teeth, he could only choose to leave. If Fujitora's gravity fruit hadn't awakened, he would still have a fight, but seeing the gravity fruit awakened, he wouldn't have to fight anymore. And most importantly, he wasn't ready for Marine to go to war just yet. Don't try to run. Xingxiang jumped into the air, and the huge ice surface directly blocked Golden Lion's retreat. Quickly shouted. Fujitora. Although the old man can't see, but his ears can't read. Fujitora groaned and swung a knife toward the sky. Golden Lion's face suddenly changed. Chapter 160. Poor Golden Lion. Inappropriate moments in sports. Learn more. New world. The price of newspapers has gone up. Nami looked at the seagull delivering the letter with dissatisfaction, 100 baileys. Seagull shook his head quickly. Our chopper is only 100 baileys. You sell a newspaper for 150 baileys. Nami said bitterly. Nami. Chopper burst into tears. He beat Sengoku last time though. But Sengoku did not report it, and the operation was not made public. When Dressrosa, Chopper takes on human form, and no one recognizes Chopper. Therefore, Chopper's bounty is still only 100 yuan. Sorry Chopper. Nami quickly apologized, took out 150 baileys with heartache, and bought a newspaper. If we are caught in the future, we will be locked up, and Chopper will probably be eaten. Robin said aside, eat. Chopper's face turned white and jumped directly to Bayou's face. Bayou quickly took Chopper off his face. Robin, don't scare Chopper. Bayou was very helpless, and Robin's black-bellied character had nothing to do with him. It's better to die than to be locked up forever. Robin said indifferently, Bayou, I don't want to be eaten, and I don't want to die. 
Chopper burst into tears. Okay. No. Bai Yu patted the chopper lightly and slid his fingers a few times, more comfortable than holding a cat. Bai Yu. Golden Lion attacked naval headquarters. Nami exclaimed. This old guy is really persistent. What's the result? Bai Yu asked with a smile. Marshal Aokiji and Fujitora Admiral fought against the Golden Lion for three days and three nights. Most of the naval headquarters were destroyed, the Golden Lion fled with a broken arm, and everyone in the Golden Lion pirates was captured. There are many islands and strange creatures around naval headquarters, which marine scientists are working on. Nami spoke out about what was reported in the newspaper. Why does this news feel a little familiar? Bai Yu frowned. If he remembered correctly, the last time the Golden Lion played against Garp and Sengoku was three days and three nights, and most of the naval headquarters was destroyed. Only the final result was that Golden Lion was caught, and this time he was not caught, but he also broke a hand. Originally there were no feet, and now an arm is gone. What a miserable Golden Lion. Any other news? Bai Yu asked. Let me see. Nami flipped through the newspaper quickly, checking important news. When she saw her news, her eyes widened, Kaido and Big Mom have formed an alliance. It seems that these two days guys are planning to join forces to deal with us. Bai Yu immediately understood the purpose of the alliance between the two. The three members of Admiral under Kaido were killed by them. If you want to deal with them, you can only join forces with Big Mom. Deal with us, two four emperors. Nami's eyes widened. In her opinion, the four emperors are already the top powerhouses in this sea, one is enough for them to deal with, if two join forces. Don't underestimate yourself, and don't underestimate our straw hat pirates. We are more terrifying in their eyes than they are in your eyes, otherwise they will not join forces to deal with us. Bai Yu smiled slightly. They want to become the only king among the pirates, how can they be afraid of the mere four emperors? What's ahead? Enel exclaimed. Others also looked over immediately. As this an elephant? Everyone was shocked. Even Bai Yu was intimidated by the giant elephant lord. The huge body towering into the clouds is slowly walking in the sea. It's so shocking. This is the elephant owner who has lived for many years, and on its back is the hometown of the fur tribe, Zo. Bai Yu opened his mouth to explain. It is said that, furs hate humans, do we really want to go? Jinbei said aside, I'm going to the elephant's back. Luffy immediately shouted loudly, no need, get ready to go up. Bai Yu knew this would be the result. The attraction of these new things to Luffy is enormous. And he also wanted to go up, the fur tribe is a very powerful main force. For the sake of the future, he will also make Zou one of his forces. There's always nothing wrong with planning ahead. Bai Yu flew high with the three daughters. For flowers. Both Ace and Enel can fly. Frankie is also now able to fly. The other non-flyers were sitting on Brooke's magic carpet. Mei Li still stayed to watch the boat. Boom. As soon as the straw hat crew climbed the back of the elephant, they heard the sound of fighting. Awesome. There really is a country. Luffy's eyes glowed, completely ignoring the movement of the fight. You guys are here now, I'll go see an old acquaintance. After Bai Yu finished speaking, he immediately disappeared in place. The old acquaintance he was talking about was none other than Golden Lion. Disagree. The Golden Lion roared loudly. Even if you kill me, I won't obey you. Golden Lion, you won't get it. Both Cat Viper and Anuarishi were knocked to the ground. Even if the Golden Lion only had one hand left, the two of them were still no match. Above all, they were afraid of the Golden Lion's abilities. The Golden Lion can completely take their country off the back of the Elephant Lord. I've broken one hand, isn't it honest? Bai Yu suddenly appeared in front of Golden Lion. You, how did you come here? Golden Lion was startled and quickly backed away. You can come, why can't I come? Bai Yu looked at the battlefield and saw quite a few fur tribesmen lying on the ground. With a sigh, you failed to attack Marine, but you came here to act wildly. I really admire you, that's how you conquered the world. Bai Yu, you help me. As long as you help me, this world must be ours. Golden Lion still didn't give up and wanted to win over Bai Yu. He has no one to use now, and his 20 years of hard work has also been ruined by Aokiji and Fujitora. The only one who can help him now is Bai Yu. Actually, you can also consider this issue from a different angle. I can recommend you to Dragon, Monkey D. Dragon, his revolutionary army is more suitable for you, and I can help you restore your lost hands and feet, how about that? Bai Yu intends to introduce the Golden Lion to Long, and since they are fighting against the world government anyway, the two of them should be able to get along well. As for whether the dragon can tame this crazy lion, it depends on his own fortune. Corpse. Chapter 161. Raftal's Information. Revolutionary Army. Golden Lion frowned. Although he lived in seclusion for 20 years, he did not know everything. Yes, the relationship between the dragon and me is not bad. Although he is not a pirate, he does something similar to yours. I feel that you should be able to talk. As for whether you can talk to him, it is up to you. Bai Yu knew the character of Golden Lion, and if he was asked to join the Revolutionary Army, he would definitely not go. On the other hand, it is completely different. The strength of the Revolutionary Army is really good, are you sure he can help me? Golden Lion was a little moved. This is, it depends on you, 
I can only recommend you, I can't guarantee the others. Bai Yu said. Okay, as long as you let me see the dragon, I'll let him join me. Golden Lion nodded immediately, with the help of the Revolutionary Army. His desire to dominate the world will soon be realized on June 27. Then don't move here, this is the place I like, you go to Dressrosa now, go to Luo, he will connect your hands and feet for you, you are there waiting for my news. Bai Yu didn't want the Golden Lion to continue destroying here. You better not lie to me. Golden Lion's eyes are faint, and he is more optimistic about the Revolutionary Army than the Fur Tribe. Because the people of the Revolutionary Army are fighting against the world government. What else do you have to deceive me now? Bai Yu smiled disdainfully, if it wasn't for the Golden Lion's use, he wouldn't waste so much energy. Humph. Golden Lion snorted and immediately got up and flew away. Twenty years of plans were destroyed, and he was in a very bad mood. Can you two die? Bai Yu looked at a cat and a dog lying on the ground and said. I can't die, thank you for saving us and Zo. Thank you very much. The two knelt directly on the ground and thanked them. Okay, you two are people who have seen the world anyway, so you don't have to. Bai Yu waved his hand to get the two of them up. You know us. Cat Viper and Inu Arashi looked at each other and looked at Bai Yu with a strange expression. Only after Roger died, they never went out since they returned to Zo. how could anyone know about them? Having been with Odin, with Whitebeard, and with Roger, you have seen the strong, but your strength is really too weak. Bai Yu shook his head. Golden Lion is already in an old state of injury, and can't show the strength of the winning period at all. And the two of them joined forces, and they still couldn't beat the Golden Lion. Who the hell are you? Cat Viper looked at Bai Yu vigilantly. You don't know me, Bai Yu asked curiously. We haven't been here for a long time, and seagulls can't fly here. We know very little about the outside world. Anuera she said, shut up, I'm talking to my benefactor, don't interrupt. Cat Viper said dissatisfiedly, then you don't know about Odin's death, do you? Bai Yu was silent for a while. Master Odin is dead. Cat Viper and Anuarashi's eyes widened. Dead for many years, now Wanokuni is ruled by Kaido. Bai Yu sighed, Odin is also a character, but unfortunately he died so tragically. Impossible. Lord Odin is so powerful, how could he die? Kaido. How can Kaido rule Wanokuni? Where are the retainers of the Kazuki family? The two of them seemed to be going crazy and were very excited. Calm down. Bai Yu gave a cold drink. How did you know this? Anuarashi calmed down and asked. Bai Yu. What's going on here? I think I just saw the Golden Lion. Luffy ran over and shouted. The Golden Lion came here after being defeated by Marine. Bai Yu said. Wow, what a big cat. What a big dog. Luffy's eyes lit up instantly. Is this the fur tribe? Like Chopper. Robin glanced at Chopper. Where does it look like? Chopper growled. That hat. Well, that looks familiar. Anuarashi and Cat Viper saw Luffy's hat and their eyes jumped. Chopper, help me get some treatment. There are a lot of people injured. Bai Yu said. Ah. Good. Chopper ran over immediately and treated the fur tribe. Thank you so much. Karukyu. Ha ha ha. You're welcome. Luffy laughed and said very generously. You don't seem to have done anything, do you? Zoro said aside. He's eating. He's been eating. Enel said and took a bite of the apple. Bastard. Aren't you eating too? Usopp shouted loudly, with the help and rescue of Straw Hat crew. The injured fur tribesmen also recovered. Mainly, the golden lion didn't make a heavy hand either, just tied them up. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so fast. Deputy Captain. Help. Brook is surrounded by a group of canine fur clans. Dog to bone. Mr. Bai Yu, thank you for saving us, but please forgive us for an unkind request. Inu Lan said and knelt on the ground. Cat Viper also knelt down. You want revenge on Kaido. Bai Yu said. He knew it would be like this. These two people are both affectionate and righteous people. And there is still such a deep relationship between Zo and Wanokuni. It makes sense that they would seek revenge on Kaido. Yes, we used to be the retainers of the Kazuki family, but we didn't even know about Odin-sama's death. It's a dereliction of duty. We're going to attack Kaido. Avenge Odin-sama, the two said firmly. Let's talk about this, let's take a look at the historical text first. Bai Yu didn't answer directly. Is there any historical text here? Robin was surprised, and it's still a red historical text. Bai Yu smiled slightly, he would not forget the historical text of Zuowu. After all, Raftal could not be found without the historical text of the 5.9 road sign. Red. Robin looked puzzled, she really didn't know this. By the way, I haven't told you about this yet. Bai Yu said. There are two types of historical texts, one is the four red historical texts that record Raftal's location information, and the other is 26 historical texts that record the history of the blank 100 years, of which nine are a block as a historical text that records important information. Combining all the historical text information together can form a complete article that records the history of the blank 100. The makers of these, historical text stells are the Kazuki clan of Wanokuni. Hearing Bai Yu's words, Robin was also very shocked. She did not expect that the historical text was actually related to Wanokuni. Raftal. Can we get Raftal? Luffy immediately ran over excitedly. 
Chapter 162, Like the Lord's Call. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. Idiot. Didn't you hear that Bai Yu needs four yuan? Nami tapped Luffy on the head. Bai Yu, let's go and find the other three pieces. Luffy was so excited that he could not wait to set off immediately. You shut up. Nami knocks Luffy to the ground. Where are the other three? I only know two of them, Kaido and Ant, and I don't know where the text of the last road sign is. It depends on our luck if we can't find it. Bai Yu shook his head. Where is the last piece? Oda didn't say anything. It's really strange that there is something the vice captain doesn't know about. Robin was surprised. I'm not omniscient, how can I know everything? Bai Yu was very helpless, but he also wanted to know. However, he passed through without seeing the finale. Then let's go grab those two pieces. Luffy shouted immediately. It's too dangerous to grab something from the four emperors, should Bai Yu have another way? Usopp was really frightened and hurriedly pulled Bai Yu. Actually, there's no need to grab it, as long as it is expanded and printed 12. Bai Yu said, that's great, Bibi can transform, sneak into the four emperors' territory, and then expand the historical text and bring it out. At that time, we can quietly go to Raftal and become one piece, can't we? Usopp showed relief. Where can there be a shortcut in one piece? Luffy shouted loudly, Anti and Kaido, right, I'll knock them down. It's over, now we will face Marine and the two four emperors at the same time. Usopp collapsed to the ground in fright. Ruined. Chopper also fell to the ground. I knew it would be like this. Nami sighed. Let's, let's look at the historical text first. Robin can't wait. Can you read the historical text? The dog asked suspiciously. We can't read it, but Robin can. Bai Yu said with a smile. As far as we know, only scholars of the Kazuki family and Ohara can read the historical text, you will not be Ohara's. Cat Viper looked at Robin in shock. Yes, I'm the only surviving Ohara. Robin isn't hiding either. Now there are few people outside who don't know about her, and there is no need to hide it. Then you are in danger, the world government will not let you go. Inugong said very seriously, I know, but I have a group of reliable partners to protect, don't be afraid of world government. A smile appeared on Robin's face. Really, it's so embarrassing to say that all of a sudden. It's not that good either. Two, let's do it. Suddenly so provocative. Straw Hat Crew people are also a little embarrassed. After the joke, everyone also came to the depository of the historical text. Robin translated it and gave it to Nami. If you follow the above, it is really possible to draw a chart. Nami nodded after reading it. Okay, now that the matter is over, let's hurry up and find Sanji, and grab the historical text from Andy by the way. Bai Yu said, his purpose of coming here is almost accomplished. Wait a moment, wait a moment, Anuarishi and Cat Viper shouted in unison. You can ask me to avenge you, but I have conditions. Bai Yu said directly, he doesn't care why these two guys don't know about Odin's death, anyway, the plot has changed so much now. As long as everything is under his control, as long as we can avenge Lord Odin, we will agree to any conditions. The two said immediately, my request is very simple, if I need you in the future, you will do your best to help me. Bai Yu also said it very directly, even if there is no such condition, as long as you need it, we Zuowu will go all out to help. Zuowu, never do anything that is sorry for friends or partners. One cat and one dog are guaranteed immediately. Very well, remember what you said today. Bai Yu nodded with satisfaction. Then can we go to sea with you? Cat Viper said immediately, you go to Wanokuni to inquire about the news. There are still survivors of the Kazuki family. Find them and wait for us to pass. Bai Yu didn't plan to bring the fur tribe. Although the fur tribe can be considered to have some strength, but compared with them, it's better. You don't even know who we are, so do you trust us like that? Nami asked suspiciously, Mr. Bai Yu can make the golden lion fear, naturally, his strength is needless to say, and you also saved us, why don't we believe you? Anuarishi said, that's it, let's go and find Sanji first. Bai Yu said and immediately prepared to leave, let me fight once, just once. Suddenly a voice appeared in Bai Yu's ear, did you hear any sound from 627? Bai Yu asked quickly, no, what's wrong? Nami looked at Bai Yu suspiciously. Others also shook their heads, except for the voices of a few of them, there was no other voice. I want to fight again. The voice sounded again. Bai Yu looked at the others, and looked like they still didn't hear. Are you talking, Elephant Lord? Bai Yu said with his hand on the ground. I'm going to fight. The voice sounded again. There will be a chance, this one is not far away. Bai Yu responded again. Bai Yu, who are you talking to? Luffy asked suspiciously. You, can you communicate with the Elephant Master? Cat Viper's eyes widened. Inu Arashi was also shocked. I don't know, it just called me. Bai Yu really didn't know the reason. Wow. Bai Yu, you are amazing. Luffy's eyes flashed. Let's go. Bai Yu ignored Luffy. If he ignored Luffy every time, he felt like he was going to die. I simply ate something and replenished my supplies. Straw Hat Crew left Zo. The next destination is All Nations. Chapter 163. My hands are not for holding swords. 
Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. All nations, Cake Island. The island is full of cake and cream, and it is very lively. Ant, one of the four emperors, held a tea party, and naturally many people came to attend. The famous big pirates of the New World and the emperors of the Dark World all appeared on Cake Island. This time, the kingdom of Germa made a lot of money, and the two emperors supported it. I am afraid that this time it is not only in North Blue, but it is estimated that it will enter the New World. I can't believe that Sanji, the black foot of the Straw Hat Pirates, is a member of the Vinsmoke family. And he has been allied with Kaido, and now she is married to the Straw Hat Pirates, New World's innocence is about to change. It's better for us little people to talk less about these big people, and eat more cakes. Hey, I really wish I could have the strength like them. The crowd was talking. The alliance of the two emperors is already shocking. Now that the three emperors are united, this is definitely going to be a big event. Not only these pirates pay attention here. Marine is also paying attention. Kaido and Big Mom joined forces, and it was enough to attract their attention. Not to mention the addition of the new emperor, Straw Hat Crew. If these three sea emperors really join forces, New World will really become their world. Therefore, many marines disguised as pirates came to Cake Island to inquire about the situation. Among them are old acquaintances of the Straw Hat Pirates, Smoker and Tashigi. There is also a woman who hates Bayou to the core. Admiral Candidate Mamasagi. However, Mamasagi was also deprived of his Admiral alternate title due to the loss of Jinluo. Mamasagi came here for nothing but Bayou. The last siege of Straw Hat crew failed miserably, and her famous sword was not recaptured. This time she wants to take it back in person, even if it costs her life. And the protagonist of this tea party, Sanji. On the ship of Jerma. Sanji, what are you still complaining about, aren't you satisfied with so many maids serving you? Forget about Straw Hat crew, don't smoke anywhere. Reiju opened his mouth to persuade. You are a prince, you should enjoy the treatment of a prince. From the moment I left, I have nothing to do with this family. Sanji said coldly, but looking at the maid standing next to her, love immediately appeared in her eyes. It's an indisputable fact that you have the blood of the Vinsmoke family. You have to learn to accept it. It's for your own good to let you come back. Today's Straw Hat crew has been targeted by the world government and won't live long. Reiju shook his head, no matter how strong Straw Hat crew is, it is definitely not the opponent of world government. How can the swallow bird know the eagle owl's record? Sanji is very disdainful, these people are just a group of frogs at the bottom of the well. What the Straw Hat pirates want to conquer is this sea. No one can stop them from moving forward. Even the world government is the same. Still complaining, my son. Judge walked into the room in anger. Ig, Niji, and Yuji came in as well. Bastard, don't yell. Sanji said coldly, trash, how dare you speak to your father in such a tone. Niji is very angry, in his eyes, Sanji is a failure, a waste. Even if he joins the Straw Hat Pirates and has a bounty of 800 million bailey, he is only a low-level chef. Sanji glanced at Ig coldly, but did not speak. He really does a good job with this guy. Marrying Bigmom is a good thing for the Vinsmoke family and the Straw Hat Pirates. Judge walked to the chair and sat down, and continued, you may not know it yet, Kaido and Bigmom have joined forces, and the goal is to deal with the Straw Hat Pirates. The combined strength of the two veteran four emperors is terrifying, I think you should know better than me. So, in this marriage, you are not completely seeking a way out for us, but also for the Straw Hat Pirates. That's the only thing a father can do for you. Are you done? Sanji lit a cigarette, his face was calm, and there was no change at all. As if what judge said had nothing to do with him. What do you want to say? Judge's eyes narrowed. I want to ask you a question. Sanji spit out a circle of eyes and looked at Judge indifferently, what right do you have to stand in father's point of view and say something like this to me? Asshole. Judge immediately stood up angrily, clenching his fists, speak with your fists, man, beat me, you can leave, we have nothing to do with each other again. You can continue to be your pirate. Father, he doesn't have to do it himself, let me do it. Quote. Ichi said, let me come, I haven't picked him up for a long time, I don't know if it feels any different from before. Niji spoke up, come on, let me teach this idiot a lesson. Yuji said, okay, let's go together, it's too troublesome to fight one by one. Sanji was very disdainful, these few people thought they were invincible by relying on a little technological power. What did you say? Judge frowned, I said I'm going to beat you four scumbags. Sanji said coldly, good, get out. Judge clenched his fists and turned to leave. I'm going to beat you to scum. Yuji looked at Sanji angrily, turned and walked out. Sanji, you are too impulsive, the current Jerma, Wang Zhao, is not the original. I'm not the original Sanji either. Sanji interrupted Reiju's words and walked out. Reiju looked at Sanji's back in amazement. At this moment, she felt that Sanji became a little strange, not the crying child when she was a child, Sanji has grown up. Quick, it's going to be a duel. Who duels? The third prince will choose his majesty King Sengoku and the other three princes. What? Is the third prince crazy? How can this possibly win? When the Jerma people heard a duel, they immediately ran over to watch. 
Four people have already stood on the square, and the battle is about to break out. Judge took out a sword and threw it in front of Sanji, I remember teaching you how to use a sword. Boom. Sanji kicked the sword away with one kick, my hands are not used to hold the sword. Chapter 164. There is no meanest, only more mean. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. When faced with Marine Admiral, he didn't use his hands. How could he use his hands to deal with these scumbags? Trash. Looking for death. Lightning flashed on Niji's body, and he rushed out instantly. Boom. Sanji kicked it away with a single kick. If you say that I may waste, what kind of thing is you who was carried away by me? Sanji's face was full of disdain. I.G. Yuji. Come on together. Cold sweat also appeared on Judge's forehead. He somewhat underestimated the strength of this trash son. Originally, he just thought that Sanji was just a chef, and the high reward was also due to the Straw Hat Pirates. After all, all the pets of the Straw Hat Pirates have been rewarded. The third prince is still so powerful without wearing a battle suit. The second prince was killed in seconds. No wonder his majesty the king brought the third prince back. We in Germa can dominate not only North Blue, but New World soon. Hearing the chatter around, Judge's face was very ugly. If he really loses, there is no way to step down. And Sanji will also choose to leave without hesitation. So he absolutely can't lose. Encircle the third prince. Let's see what kind of strength he has. Judge yelled. Someone immediately stepped forward and surrounded Sanji. But these people just stood there and did not attack. Because Judge only issued the order to surround, and did not order 627 to attack. Get out of your way. Sanji shouted loudly. They won't let go. IG kicked one of them. The person being served flew directly to Sanji. Sanji couldn't bear to attack these innocent people and hurriedly avoided. But at this time Yuji had already appeared behind Sanji through the human wall. Boom. A punch hit Sanji in the face. Sanji just wanted to counterattack, but IG brought a person again. Asshole. Sanji gritted his teeth and could only choose to dodge. The trash should die. Niji rushed out, flashing a thunderous kick straight to Sanji's head. You are really trash. Sanji roared, jumped high, and charged into the sky using moonwalk. And at this time, Judge appeared in front of Sanji with a spear, and the spear slammed down angrily. Boom. Sanji was smashed to the ground. You lose. Judge exclaimed. I thought that after so many years, you would still change a bit, but now it seems that you are really becoming more and more scumbags. No, you are not even a scumbag now. Sanji wiped the sore corner, took out a cigarette from Kabuto, and lit it slowly. Put the lighter, BCFJ, into the Kabuto. Flames burn at the feet. Then disappeared instantly. So fast. Judge's eyes widened. Are you looking for me? Sanji appears behind Judge. What? Judge was startled and turned back sharply. Devil wind feet. Choppy kick. Monument. This kick is so accurate. Kick directly in the face. Judge's face instantly deformed and flew out. Damn it. The three immediately rushed towards Sanji. Bang. 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 One kick and one kick. All three were kicked out. Call. Sanji spit out his eyes. Your Majesty the King. His Royal Highness Prince. Quick first aid. The onlookers came back to their senses. Rushed to the rescue. The outcome has been decided. I hope that as a king, I can keep my promise. If you dare to do anything to East Blue, I will not keep it. Sanji turned around and left. It's true that he likes beautiful women, but he doesn't want to get married under the arrangement of others. I didn't even see where the woman was. No, he can't get married even if he sees him, how can he get married if he continues to sail? Sanji. Don't leave. If you leave, Uyghur Mako will be destroyed. Judge was next to Sanji. Puff. Kneeling directly to the ground. This is not a request from your father, but a request from you as the king of the kingdom of Germa. If you leave, and after the tea party, the ant doesn't see you, then we Germa will be wiped out. You don't want to see innocent people die because of you, do you? Judge's words shocked everyone around. The third prince wants to abandon them and leave. To even force the king to kneel and plead for mercy, this is too much. Third prince, tell us it's not true. If you're going, kill us. Yeah, offend the four emperors, we will all die. His majesty the king has already knelt down and begged you, please stay. The third prince, don't abandon us. The people immediately surrounded Sanji and all knelt on the ground. Asshole. Sanji looked at the kneeling man and clenched his fists. He knew that that bastard father would never care about the lives of these people. It's just a conspiracy. However, he could not be as ruthless as Taji. He clearly knew that this was Judge's conspiracy, but he had no choice but to do it. Sanji, you don't care about us, don't you care about Lei? Judge said again, do you have the heart to let her be killed by B-I-G-M-O-M? -M? I'll find Auntie myself, Sanji said and walked into the castle. A smile appeared on Judge's face. Seeing that Sanji didn't leave, the people immediately smiled. Your Majesty, we have landed. Ready to log in. Judge stood up and waved his hand. At that time, Straw Hat Crew has come to Cake Island. Wow, what a huge cake. Looks delicious. I don't know if there is Coke. I want cotton candy. Idiot, we're here to find Sanji. Nami yelled. 
These people looked like they were looking for someone. Obviously they were here to eat, drink and have fun. Sanji. Luffy shouted loudly. Boom. Usopp knocked Luffy down with a punch and shouted loudly. We're going to sneak in. What if you were found so loud? Shooting everyone out is not the same as sneaking in. Luffy hung his head and said. It makes sense. Let's go. Mei Li, the boat will be handed over to you. Bai Yu said and jumped off the boat. With their current strength, do they still need to sneak in? Go. The adventure begins. Luffy shouted excitedly and rushed out. Let's go. You know that's it. Zoro is very helpless, but it doesn't matter. You won't gain weight by eating so many cakes and desserts. Robin said and jumped out of the boat. Really? Nami followed suit. I've been here, I'm going to expand the historical text. Jinbei said, I'll go with you. Brooke said. Jinbei nodded, it would be more convenient to have a helper. I'm going shopping too, so I won't be with you. Enel said and disappeared. I don't have anything to do, so let's go with you. Ace didn't act alone, mostly worried about Luffy. As for finding Sanji, no one seems to have said. Chapter 165, The Core Technology of Jerma. Good to eat. Luffy never stopped talking along the way. Mainly because this forest is full of food. What flows in the river is not water, but various juices. Chocolates, donuts, lollipops, etc., everywhere. The happiest is chopper, because it's all sweets here. Why no meat? Luffy said dissatisfiedly while eating donuts. Not only no meat, but no wine. Zoro is also unhappy. We seem to be spinning around in circles all the time. Nami's brows furrowed, she noticed this, the forest seemed to move. Leave it to me. Ace's fist burned into flames, and everyone immediately made way. Fire punch. Boom. Furious flames swept out. The trees instantly turned to ashes, and the forest burned. Ah. Fire. Help. Quickly put out the fire. Mom help. The trees and flowers immediately screamed. It's amazing. These trees can actually talk. Luffy's eyes lit up. Kill these invaders. Kill them. All the trees and flowers in the woods rushed towards the crowd. Roll. Bayou gave a cold drink, and Conqueror's hockey cast. The surrounding trees immediately stopped. She quickly backed away with a cold sweat on her face. Stop playing. Let's go quickly. If you want to drink and eat meat, you still have to go to the city. Bayou is very helpless. This dessert is okay to eat a little, and it is true to eat too much. It is better to hurry to the city to have a banquet. What the hell is Andy going to do? You have invited all the emperors of the dark world. Tashigi sat on the table, lowered the brim of his hat, and said in a low voice. What good can this group of wicked people get together? Smoker said bitterly. He really wants to arrest all these wicked people who are causing harm to the world. But he also knew his own strength. And this is the territory of the four emperors, even Marine has to be careful. The kingdom of Jerma is here. I don't know who yelled. Everyone's eyes immediately turned to the approaching carriage. Judge got out of the car with his head. Sanji followed behind, as did the other four. After being taught a lesson by Sanji, IG and the three of them became a lot more honest. Lei was silent and did not speak. She knew that Sanji was definitely not going to get married, at least not now. The reason why Sanji came was mainly because of the pleas of the people and her sister. But she didn't know what would happen next. Boom. Ant fell from the sky. The huge body fell to the ground, causing a wave of air. Fortunately, the people here have some strength, otherwise they would really be blown away. The ant raised her hands and shouted loudly. The fragrance of cake and cream is everywhere, eat whatever you want. Drink whatever you want, remember everything that happened today. Cheers. Everyone is excited to toast. In this world, there is no problem that cannot be solved by a banquet, if there is, there are two. Boom. The door was violently smashed. We didn't even come, the banquet started, this is too much to give a straw hat pirate's face, big mom. Bai Yu's voice fell, and the dust dissipated. Straw hat pirates. How did they come? Idiot. Vinsmoke Sanji turned out to be a member of the straw hat pirates. However, mom doesn't seem to invite them. Do you want to go to war with us? You actually came. Since you are here, sit down. Big mom took a lot of straw hat crew, but didn't get angry right away. She still doesn't know what the purpose of this group of people is here. And at this time, she doesn't want to have a direct conflict, and getting Germa's technology is the most important thing at the moment. Wow, yummy. This wine tastes good. I want meat. Eat so fast. Luffy and the others didn't agree with Ant, so they sat down to eat. The faces of the people around were not very good looking. Although Straw Hat Crew was called the Fifth Emperor, they did not recognize it. And even if it is the Five Emperors, they must give them some face in the Dark World. Straw Hat Crew. Don't be too arrogant. The King of Usury roared angrily. Ask for flowers. Who are you? Luffy asked suspiciously. Asshole. The King of Lone Sharks took out his gun and shot Luffy. Boom. The bullet hit Luffy and flew straight out. Since the shot is fired, it means a declaration of war, so you're welcome. With Bai Yu's finger, a thunderbolt instantly pierced through the head of the Lone Shark King. Killed the King of Lone Sharks. Straw Hat. Aren't the gang too arrogant? How dare you kill someone here? Is this going to go to war with B.I.G.M.O.M.? 
Everyone around was terrified. When you say you do it, you do it without mercy. And Sanji was completely dumbfounded. Sanji, isn't your matter settled yet? Bai Yu looked at Sanji. If you don't come, it's already resolved. Sanji said and stood up and looked at the ant, I refuse this wedding. What did you say? Ant's forehead veins began to bulge. I said I refused, and starting today, I completely cut ties with the Vinsmoke family, goodbye as the enemy. Sanji said loudly, he just wants to announce this result in front of everyone. In this way, Big Mom's fire is also directed at him, not Jerma. Well, it should have been done a long time ago. Bai Yu smiled slightly, a scum father like Sanji would be better off. Bastard. The Vinsmoke family, are you asking for me? Mom is angry, her sons also immediately surrounded the Vinsmoke family. No, no, how could we do that, it's all this kid's own opinion. Judge's speech was incoherent, completely lacking the majesty of a king. It doesn't matter anymore, hand over the technological power of Jerma, and spare you all to die. Aunt is very angry, good, good, I will pay, I will pay, don't kill me. Judge agreed immediately and took out a small jar, this, this is the core technology of our Jerma. Okay, I'll take it. Bai Yu grabbed the jar with one hand. Jerma's technology was very useful to Frankie. Corpse. Chapter 166, Battle of Destiny. The place fell into an eerie silence. Judge's entire body froze, as if he had been immobilized. He never thought that there would be people here who would dare to rob the IGMOM's things. Boom. There was a sudden roar in the distance. This awakened the shocked people. Hoo hoo ho ho. Brooke's peculiar laugh broke out. Brooke. Is the historical text expanded? Luffy asked loudly. It's done, but now there's something wrong. Jinbei also ran over. What happened? Bai Yu asked curiously. Enel got into a fight with a big cat, roaring roaring. Brooke sat down and started eating. It should be, a Kaido person, very strong, and should be an ancient species of ability. Jinbei said, 627, and sat down, completely ignoring the people around him. Whatever he wants, he's boring anyway. Bai Yu waved his hand and ignored Enel. Straw Hat crew is so unbridled sitting there eating. It also completely angered the people around. And the most angry person is the ant. Not to mention that the wedding was messed up, Jerma's technology was also robbed. Straw Hat crew is on her turf, and such things are unscrupulous. If she didn't do it, she thought she was afraid of Straw Hat crew. Kill me Straw Hat crew. Mom roared. Everyone rushed to the Straw Hat crew at once. Okay, it's time to do some activity. Find your own opponent, and the old lady will leave it to me. Bai Yu smiled, they had come to look for trouble. Now that the ant said to do it, let's do it. Zeus. Ant roared and grabbed Thundercloud Zeus. Thunder. Boom. A giant thunder column directly hit by you. Dust is everywhere. This is the strength of the four emperors. It's terrifying. Hurry up and stay away. The straw hat pirates are doomed this time. This is the fate of offending my mother. The taste of this thunder is not bad, just a little less. Bai Yu stood still intact. The ground around him has been completely destroyed, but the place where the battle strength is under his feet is intact. Prometheus. Flamethrower. A terrifying flame instantly drowned Bai Yu. The smell of this flame is a little worse. Bai Yu's voice sounded again. For him, these attacks can only be regarded as supplements. Who the hell is this guy? Mom's lightning and flame attacks have no effect. Copy. People Bai Yu. The strength is so powerful. Don't forget, his reward is 3 billion baileys. It's even higher than the straw hat Luffy. Give me the straw hat Luffy, and you deal with the others. Katakori said coldly. Binsmoke Sanji. You better not move or I'll kill them now. Perospero activated the fruit ability, completely controlled several members of the Binsmoke family, and put the gun on Judge's head. I have nothing to do with them anymore, you can do it directly. Sanji didn't even look at it and fought directly with Charlotte Daifuku. Very good, then I will fulfill you. Perospero said as he was about to pull the trigger. Boom. Bullets flew out. When, Sanji appeared behind Judge and blocked the bullet. Back as a foot. Kacha. Fixed five people's sugar being broken. Your battle uniform. Vivi appeared in front of the crowd and handed them the battle suit. The rest is up to you. Sanji left immediately after speaking. Vivi glanced at a few people, then transformed and disappeared again. The five of them looked at the battle suits in their hands, and all remained silent. They never thought that they would one day be rescued by Sanji. Father, don't think about marriage with the four emperors, let's find a way to protect ourselves. Reiju knew very well that Big Mom just wanted their technological power in the first place. As for the marriage, it was just a joke. Even without the Straw Hat crew messing around, they'd end up the same, if not more so. Call. Fight. It's time to make an understanding. Judge took a deep breath and calmed down. Just when he heard the sound of gunshots coming from behind, he felt like he was about to die. At that moment, he recalled his own life. Seems like nothing has been done. You can't waste forever, favor. Ichi said coldly. The five people rushed out in an instant. Come out, skeleton warriors. Come out, skeleton mage. Come out, stone demon. 
Brooke quickly started calling. Although their people are small, but with him, there is an army, and it is an undead army. What monster is this? How can you still cast lightning? What kind of power is this? It can control the power of death. Skull summons skeleton. Everyone in the BIGMOM pirates was frightened by the sudden appearance of skeletons and monsters. Don't call me a skeleton. Please teach me Shinigami. Ho 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 ho. Brooke also had an addiction to being a god. Cookie soldiers. Cracker clapped his hands, and a large number of soldiers appeared to block the skeleton warriors. Soon the entire Cake Island was turned into a battlefield. And by you also experienced the monster-like power of Big Mom. Even in his normal state, his strength is comparable to that of the giants. After turning on the Shira skill, the power is even more terrifying. But even so, the ant was able to block his fist. Boom. Every time the two collided, many buildings on Cake Island would be destroyed. Straw Hat crew others are more relaxed. Only Luffy suffered the most. Because he is facing 5.9 hands against Katakori. No matter how he attacked, he couldn't hit. Instead, he was often entangled and beaten. You have great strength and speed, but you can't beat me if you don't hit me. Katakori said indifferently. Luffy's attack was a threat to him, but only a threat. Bastard. Shock. Open. Luffy directly opened the door of the seventh gate. Boom. One punch hit Katakori. So fast. Katakori was surprised. I'm going to blow you away. Luffy roared and attacked again. Useless. Katakori easily dodged Luffy's attack. Top observation hockey. See the short future. Unless Luffy's observation hockey is on the same level as him, there is absolutely no way to hit him. Chapter 167. The Mysterious Power of Destruction. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. It was really a fateful encounter. Bayou watched Luffy get into a hard fight, and a smile appeared on his face. He believed that after this battle, Luffy's strength would definitely change again. Maybe he will take full control of eight inner gates. He was really looking forward to Luffy's second skill. Go to hell. The ant threw an angry fist. Bayou quickly dodged. Boom. Auntie punched directly on the prepared wedding cake. The huge cake burst in an instant. Cake. The ant exclaimed. Old witch. Go to hell. Bayou pulled out the famous sword Jin Kunluo around his waist. Thunder and lightning rolled, flames burned, and armament hockey was entangled. Thunder fire slash. The slash that flickered with lightning and flames went straight to Big Mom. And the ant looked at the collapsed cake, stunned in place, and did not move at all. Mother. The hat instantly turned into a giant sword and took the initiative to stand in front of Auntie. Zeus and Prometheus immediately helped to block by you slash. The three of you are considered loyal, but you shouldn't exist, so let's dissipate. Bai Yu's voice fell, and there was an extra energy 12 on the knife. That is the power of the yellow spring fruit. Cut out again. Prometheus was cut in half directly. There is a green energy on the wound that makes it unable to heal. Mom. Help me. I'm dying. Prometheus shouted loudly. Prometheus. The ant came back to her senses, and quickly grabbed Prometheus, which was divided into two halves, and put them together. Damn you. The ant picked up the great sword and swung it down vigorously at Bai Yu. Boom. Bai Yu quickly blocked the sword. The ground beneath his feet shattered instantly. Good wait. Bai Yu felt the terrifying power of Big Mom. And he found that his body was too small, and he was a little disadvantaged when he was in the row. Then the body instantly became bigger, two heads higher than the curse. The famous sword Jinsaluo in his hand also turned into a 10 meter long broadsword. You want to compare your strength with me, don't you? Come on then. Asura's firepower is on. Bai Yu roared, and the 10 meter long sword slashed straight down. There are no moves, just the simplest hack. However, Bai Yu, who has transformed into a giant, exploded with the full power of Shira's skills. The power of this blow is absolutely terrifying. Boom. The anti crossed the knife to block the knife. But the one with the giant sword in her hand screamed, and a crack appeared on the blade. A force full of destructive aura emerged from Bai Yu's body. Mom. It hurts. The giant sword let out a shrill scream. Click. The great sword shatters, and the soul disappears. Bai Yu was also stunned, and did not continue to chop. He was all too familiar with this force, but it was the aura of destruction that almost killed him. His original black hair has also become the current white hair. Originally, he thought that this destructive force had disappeared, but he did not expect it to appear again. And it also appeared with his attack. What power is this? Ant was shocked when she saw the shattered and disappeared giant sword in her hand. Her hockey isn't the best, but it's not too far behind. He was able to cut off Napoleon who was entangled in hockey. This power is terrifying. The power of destruction. Bai Yu's voice fell, and he swung his sword out at the second time. Big Mom has armament hockey wrapped around her hands, and there is also Conqueror's hockey. Boom. A sword slashed at the ant's arm. But the aura of destruction did not trigger. Because of Conqueror's hockey, Bai Yu frowned. But it's not right to think about it. This knife feels completely different from the one just now. Looks like you can't control that power yet. Ant also found the problem. Enough against you. Lightning flashes and flames rise from Bai Yu's huge body. 
Start the attack quickly. The battle of the two giants quickly destroyed most of the cake road. Every attack of Bai Yu's knife is fatal to the cake knife. The cake island was shaking constantly, and it had already begun to sink. No, cake island is sinking. This is the battle between the emperors of the new world. It's terrifying. It's not something we can participate in at all. Mother, cake island is thrown into chaos. The battle became more and more intense. And Luffy is also scarred and embarrassed. His attack was completely useless and could not hit Katakori at all. Get out of here everyone. Luffy shouted loudly. Luffy, you're not going to use that trick again. Chopper exclaimed. I'm going to blow this guy away. Luffy said through gritted teeth. Okay, you all retreat first, just leave Luffy to me. Bayou knew that if Luffy could fully comprehend eight inner gates, he would only have to watch once to raise the observation hockey level. When the others heard Bayou's words, they immediately got rid of their opponents and left. Eight inner gates formation. On. Luffy roared, and blood red steam appeared all over his body. What a terrifying power. Katakori was shocked. The power that burst out from Luffy now is not at the same level as just now. Quick. Boom. The powerful air cannon hits Katakori directly. Not good. Dodge. Katakori foresaw Luffy's next attack. But the body was pressed by the air cannon and couldn't move. 627 Erlian. Puff. Katakori vomited blood. 3 speed. 4 speed. Katakori had absolutely no chance to fight back, only passively beaten. 5 speed. Boom. The entire cake path began to shake continuously, and Katakori had been driven into the ground, and there was no movement. Luffy's red steam disappeared, his body also turned into a childlike state, and he fell asleep. What a mess, I'll give you this surprise when you wake up. Bayou separated a water body, picked up Luffy, and flew to the sky. Luffy finally didn't let him down, fully comprehending eight inner gates. And the second skill also made him very excited. Stop them. Never let the straw hat run away. The ant immediately shouted loudly. She felt fear in Luffy. Even she couldn't guarantee that she would be able to take the attack just now. If such a person is not killed now, she will be the one in the future. Looks like I'm still being underestimated, old witch. Die. Bayou held the handle of the knife with both hands. One knife style profound truth, slaying God. A huge knife swung out. The pitch black slash instantly hit Big Mom. Ant's huge body flew out directly. Chapter 168. Marine comes to pick up the leak. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. The B-I-G-M-O-M pirates saw Big Mom fly out. How dare you catch up with Straw Hat crew, and hurried to save Andy. Bayou didn't kill them either. Return to normal size and take Luffy back to the pirate ship. Cake Island also began to crumble and collapse. Chopper. Luffy handed it to you, let's go to Wanokuni. Bayou hands Luffy to Chopper. This time with eight inner gates turned on, Luffy's damage from Faye is much smaller than last time. Mainly because Luffy's physical fitness has increased a lot during this time, and Haki has also made great progress. Otherwise, it will take a month like last time. Bayou, can you and Luffy go further in the future? Zoro was very dissatisfied, he just had a blast, but the island was broken. That's right, I'd better stay away from you in future fights. Enel said aside, you're not going anywhere. Ace immediately complained that Enel was the first to do it. It didn't destroy Cake Island like Luffy and Bayou did, but it wasn't much worse. Ace, you're not much better, how much have your flames melted the Cake Island? Jinbei also began to complain. Actually, the main reason is that this Cake Island is not strong, otherwise it wouldn't collapse so easily, just go to Wanokuni, and then the battle will be handed over to you. Bayou interrupted several people. That's what you said. Zoro's eyes lit up, Wanokuni's samurai were swordsmen. So many powerful swordsmen are excited to think about it. I'm going to build an anti-samurai suit. Frankie then left the splint and started working, and this time he was the one who benefited the most. When he absorbs the core technology of the Germa kingdom, his strength will definitely be greatly improved. At this time, Germa's father and son flew over. What are you doing? Sanji said coldly. Except for Huang Mei, he has no sympathy for others at all. When Reiju wasn't there, he wouldn't be as good looking as these people. I came just to thank you, thank you for saving us. Judge said with a deep bow of thanks. The other three bowed reluctantly. Thanks for. Let's go. Sanji doesn't appreciate it at all. One more thing, please return the core technology of Germa to us, which is the lifeblood of our Germa. Judge fell to his knees as he spoke. Stop doing this. Sanji frowned. It's impossible for you to go back. For Sanji's sake, I won't kill you. Go away, don't let me say it again. Bayou stood up. If it weren't for Sanji, these scumbags were nothing, he would have been hacked to death. This. Judge was in a cold sweat, but he saw Bayou stabbed Andy out. But he still didn't give up, and turned his begging eyes to Sanji. Boom. Get out of here. Sanji just kicked the judge and flew out. Afterwards, he looked coldly at the three teenagers who killed Matt, aren't you going to get out? The three of them didn't speak, just turned around and left. Straw hat. The gang is there. Can't let them run away. Prepare for bombardment. Fire. Dense shells flew over. 
Water style water barrier. Jinbei activated the water and blocked all the shells. Look at me. Ace rushed over. Fire fist. Boom. The furious flames destroyed more than a dozen pirate ships. Water style water dragon bomb technique. Jinbei stepped on the sea and shouted loudly. A huge water dragon rushed towards the other pirate ships. Boom. The huge impact force instantly destroyed all the pirate ships that were chasing. At this moment, Thousand Sunny suddenly stopped. The hull is surrounded by pink transparent objects. And it continues to spread towards the deck. Looks like someone has been forgotten. Bayou instantly disappeared in place. Appeared in the cabin. The mirrors in the room were emitting a strange light. Bayou went straight through the mirror and came to the mirror world. You, how did you get in? When Bray saw Bayou coming in, he immediately fell to the ground in fright. Looking for you, Bayou came to Bray and grabbed her neck. Put down Bree. Opera roared, and the cream went straight to Bayou. Seeing your appearance really affects the taste of cream I will eat in the future. With a wave of Bayou's hand, a flame instantly drowned Opera. What? The shrill screams echoed in the mirror world. However, Bayou has disappeared. He took Bree out of the mirrored world and threw her directly into the sea. With such abilities as the mirror fruit, let's find a new owner. As for whether the people in the mirror world are dead or alive, he is too lazy to care. At this time, five or six warships appeared on the sea in the distance. The warship is full of soldiers, and almost all of them are elites at the level of generals. It seems that Marine is here to pick up the leak. Bayou saw the warship heading straight for Cake Island, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. It scared me to death, I thought I was here to arrest us. Usopp breathed a sigh of relief. Don't be too happy, how could no one come to arrest us? Bayou's voice fell, and three warships appeared in the distance. The target is them, I'm going to help Frankie. Usopp was frightened and ran away. Others did not stop, just three warships. Any one of them can easily, Wang Zhao, solve it. And they all hope that Frankie's jersey will be built soon. After all, Mecca is the romance of men. Bai Yu, you can't run away. A woman's voice sounded. Hu, Nami, Vivi, and Robin immediately looked at Bai Yu Shang. Marine came to arrest them and even named Bai Yu directly. The most important thing is a woman. Who else, must be the previous owner of this knife, Mamasagi Vice Admiral. Bai Yu said helplessly. Jin Kunluo is very easy to use, and it is definitely impossible to return the tons of Mamasagi. However, if Mamasagi got into his bed, then there is no need to pay it back. As the warship approached, the figures on the warship gradually became clearer. However, Marine did not attack directly. Bai Yu also saw the people on the warship. Still old acquaintances. Chapter 169, The Mysterious Jin Luo. Admiral Fujitora, Vice Admiral Mamasagi, Vice Admiral Smoker, Colonel Tashigi. All are acquaintances. Everyone, long time no see. Bai Yu greeted everyone with a smile. Bastard, return my knife. Give me back my knife. Mamasagi and Tashigi shouted in unison. I'm sorry, the things in my hands are mine, and if you want to take my things from me, you will have to pay a price. Bai Yu smiled, the things in his hands were not so easy to hold. You bastard, how are you going to return the knife to me? Mamasagi clenched his fists and gritted his teeth angrily. Give it back to you. It's not impossible, but I use this knife very well. If you want this knife, unless you make it comfortable for me to use, I will consider it. Bai Yu smiled and looked at Mamasagi's figure. Stinky rascal, you are dreaming. Mamasagi blushed and cursed angrily. You think too much, although you look good, but the three beauties around me are not bad, and the world's most beautiful fish princess is my fiancé, do you think I will like you? Bai Yu sneered, I just made you my servant. You are dreaming. Mamasagi gritted his teeth angrily, his eyes seemed to eat people. Forget about 627, we'll leave without anything else. Bai Yu waved his hand indifferently, he was just talking casually anyway. Even if Mamasagi really wanted to, he wouldn't agree. With a marine on board, they didn't sleep well. Wait a minute, since you have Jinsiro, Wajo can give it back to me. Tashigi shouted loudly, if you agree to the conditions just now, I can give you a knife now. Bai Yu said with a smile, you're too much Bai Yu. Smoker's body was smoking, isn't this smoker, it looks like he's gotten a lot stronger. Bai Yu smiled, asshole, smoker took out the ten-handed weapon behind him, turned into white smoke and rushed towards Bai Yu. Then let me try your strength. Ace rushed straight up. Smoker, stop. Fujitora finally spoke. Smoker immediately heard Fujitora's order and returned to the warship angrily. Bai Yu, please state the conditions. Kinsro is very important to Marine. As long as you return the knife to Marine, first guarantee that Marine will not let you suffer. Fujitora said with a serious expression. Since you have spoken up, I will give you a face, as long as you can get me the first generation ghost from the five elders, I can consider giving you Jinsaluo. Bai Yu said with a smile. In fact, Jin Luo didn't particularly like him, first generation Gush was what he wanted. Of course, don't even think about taking this knife away from him. Only children make choices, of course they want all of them. You know it's impossible, but I can find a way to help you find another supreme knife, no worse than first generation. 
Fujitora shook his head and grabbed the five elders, as Bai Yu could think of. That's fine. Come to me when you find it. Bai Yu waved his hand and we, let's go. The straw hat pirates set sail. Fujitora Admiral, are we really just letting them go? Smoker clenched his fists tightly, and let straw hat crew go unwillingly. It's not that we let them go, it's that we can't catch them. Fujitora sighed. The strength of straw hat crew is too strong, and it is simply not something they can grasp. Now Fire Fist Ace has joined the straw hat crew. There are two Lodias on this ship, and their strength can completely compete with Admiral. Plus a swordsman who can defeat Hawkeye, and Jinbei, a murloc who plays with water. To deal with the straw hat pirates, at least three top Admiral would have a chance. And one person needs to be able to live in by you. Otherwise, there is absolutely no chance. But, Kinthro's secret. Peach BCFJ avoids hesitating. Not many people know about this matter, even I only learned about it recently, and I have to hurry up and get that supreme sword. Fujitora is also very helpless, if he can, he really doesn't want Bayou to fight. Bayou, why didn't Marine take action against us? Nami asked suspiciously. Their goal is not us, or they are using us to destroy the world's four emperors. Bayou knew exactly what Marine was thinking. The Straw Hat Pirates are the new fifth emperor, and when they arrive in the new world, they will become the target of the new world pirates. And the four veteran four emperors would not let them go, and Marine also wanted to attack the four emperors to deter the pirates of the new world. But Marine didn't have the strength to deal with the four emperors, so they could only borrow the hands of the straw hat pirates to clear the four emperors. Without the four emperors in New World, the other pirates are just a piece of sand. When the Marine is eliminated, it will be very easy. After the forces of the four emperors were all cleaned up, the straw hat crew were left. Birds hide their bows, rabbits die and dogs cook. This was Marine's plan. I can't believe that we are being calculated by Marine. Sanji took a puff and said angrily. Even if Marine doesn't count us, don't we just stop fighting? Bayou looked at the sleeping Luffy and said, don't forget that our captain is someone who never acts according to plan. This guy wouldn't care even if he knew about it. Zoro shook his head helplessly. Compared to this, Marine is willing to take out another supreme knife in exchange for this Jinsuluo in Bayou's hands, which makes me even more curious. Robin looked at the knife on Bayou's waist. Indeed, I am also very suspicious. Bayou took out Jin Luo and observed it carefully. But after watching it for a long time, I didn't see any difference. Although the Supreme Sword can enhance the strength of the swordsman. But that also depends on the strength of the swordsman himself. Ordinary swordsman, even the black swordsman with eagle eyes, can't defeat the great swordsman. And since Marine can find another supreme knife, there is absolutely no need for him to replace Jinsiro in his hand. There must be something in it that he doesn't know. The name Jin Kunluo is very strange, I read a book, Jin Kunluo's name is one of the legendary twelve generals, the leader of Yaksha. Nami said aside, Yaksha, Bayou frowned, he thought of the fact that he had checked some information about One Piece when he was bored. And this Jin Kunluo has another meaning, the patron saint of the sea. This knife has a big secret. Chapter 170, Kaido saves Anti. Light, inappropriate moments in sports. Open black lens bracket the BIGMOM pirates were defeated by the straw hat pirates. Open black lens bracket big MOM pirate captain, Charlotte Linlin was arrested by Marine, close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Felder, the king of usury, the emperor of the dark world, has been arrested, close corner bracket. The emperor of the dark world, the master of the handicapped ceremonial master Picro, was arrested. Closing square bracket. A piece of shocking news appeared in the newspaper and spread all over the world. Any of these news, all very shocking. Not to mention a one-time occurrence. The straw hat pirates are too scary, they were able to defeat the BIGMOM pirates. Big MOM was captured by Marine, is Marine going to attack the four emperors? Even the emperor of the dark world has been arrested, it seems that this time Marine is really going to move. Who cares, if one of the four emperors disappears, their territory is ours. The emperor of the dark world should also be replaced. The world is in chaos. The pirates of the new world and the people of the dark world are all about to move. How daring people are, how prolific the land is. If you want to be famous, you must know how to seize the opportunity. Now is the best time. On the seas of the new world, Marine's fleet sailed fast. The Marines on the warship lined up neatly, ready to go. Because the pirate they captured this time was the four emperors BIGMOM of the new world. Boom. The sky is cloudy and the thunder is rolling. A huge black shadow appeared in the thundercloud. Click. A bolt of lightning struck the warship directly. The warship instantly burst into flames. Be careful. Prepare to meet the enemy. Fujitora looked serious, notify Kazaru immediately to come and support. As soon as the voice fell, another flash of lightning struck. Another warship was destroyed, I can't let you spoil it like this. Fujitora slashed into the air. The terrifying gravity rose into the sky, and the dark clouds in the sky dissipated immediately. The huge black shadow hidden in the air also appeared. Kaido. The likes of Mamasagi and Smoker were also taken aback. I didn't expect it to be Kaido. Fujitora. Let Linlin -lin go, I'll let you go. 
Kaido said loudly. The old man also has the position of the old man, how can it be possible to let people go? As Fujitora said, he drew his knife and prepared to fight. Hot breath. Kaido opened his mouth wide, and a huge fireball blasted out. Gravity knife. Tiger. Fujitora slashed out with a knife. Terrifying gravity lifts the sea to Kaido in the sky. The fireball hit the sea, and a burst of steam rose. I see how much you can stop. Tornado. Kaido's huge body turned quickly, and several huge tornadoes quickly formed on the sea. In front of the tornado, the sturdy warship is like paper. In the face of such a natural disaster level tornado, any weapon on the warship has no effect. Gravity. Knife dragon subduing. Fujitora swung the knife again, and the terrifying gravity pressed directly on Kaido's body. Roar. Tornado. Kaido roared and broke free from Fujitora's gravity, his huge body spinning like a spinning top. One after another, the bad wind, like a slash, went straight to the warship. Kaido's target was not Fujitora from the beginning, his target was a warship. A terrifying tornado, and this sharp wind blade. Marine's warships, except for Fujitora, their main ship, had nothing to do, and almost all others were destroyed. This is the strength of the four emperors level, this is the strongest creature in the world. Kaido. And Kaido's attacks are all in the sky, Marine is in the sea. Even Fujitora's strength cannot protect all warships. Hand over Linlin. Kaido roared loudly. Don't think about it. Mamasugi pulled out his long sword and slashed towards the sky. Kaido didn't even dodge and took the slash. There are no scars left. Mamasugi's eyes widened. She didn't have Jin Kunluo's strength, but she didn't expect to hurt Kaido. You go in and look at Bigmom. Fujitora shouted loudly. He knew very well that the attacks of these people were just tickling for Kaido. Not even a tickling. A welcome gift for you. Fujitora slashed into the air with a knife. Boom. A huge meteorite fell into the sky. Hot breath. Dot for flowers oh oh. Boom. The huge meteorite exploded in an instant. The burning meteorite fragments did not land. With a wave of Fujitora's hand, the meteorite fragments went straight to Kaido. Bad wind. Roar. Like a slashing wind blade, the meteorite was cut into pieces in an instant. And he also turned into a dragon man in the air, holding a mace in both hands, and fell into the sky. Three worlds. Yin Luo. Boom. The warship shattered instantly. Fujitora takes control of the shattered warship to rescue Smoker and the others. And Kaido's claws grabbed the unconscious ant and flew straight to the sky. Cough cough. Fujitora coughed up blood. It's not a good feeling to take a blow from Kaido. There is no way. He cannot exert his full strength. If they fought against Kaido with all their might, none of these soldiers would survive. At this time, a golden light appeared. Kazaru appears. Big Mom. Kazaru asked immediately. Saved by Kaido. Go after you. Leave it to me here. Fujitora floats debris from the ship. Get all the marines who fall into the water to climb on the debris. Kazaru hesitated for a moment, then chased after him. As for real or fake, I don't know. Anyway, it didn't catch up in the end. However, all this straw hat crew does not know about this. They have just landed on an interesting little island just now. The island has few plants and is extremely hot. But there are many natural hot springs on the island. And lots of carbonic acid. There must be a lot of coke here, let's go and refill it. Frankie was excited, although he has modified Thousand Sunny's powertrain. But Coke is still an essential motivator. Also his favorite drink. It is rare to come across an island full of carbonic acid. Not only can Coke be replenished here, but he can also collect some ores. What they didn't know was that on the other side of the island, there was also a pirate ship docked. The prow of this pirate ship is two giant snakes. The pirate flag is a skull wrapped in nine snake heads. Nine snake pirates. One of Shichibukai, Boa Hancock's pirates. Zero. Chapter 171, Pirate Empress Boa Hancock. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. Straw hat. The pirates and the nine snake pirates. Siddle smoked a cigar and tapped his fingers on the table. As the strongest bounty hunter, there is no pirate he dare not kill. Yes, Lord Seidler. The subordinate said respectfully. I'm really lucky. One Shichibukai, one five emperors, this has developed, I want the whole world to know the power of my Siddle guild. Seidler stood up excitedly. Siddle, your lord, please instruct. The subordinate said immediately, kill them all. Siddle grinned, after defeating Bigmom, the straw hat pirates won't be completely harmed, right? This is the best time to destroy them. But, if we're going to kill Shichibukai, isn't that going against Marine and the world government? Said the subordinate, 877, can't it be said that the straw hat pirates killed it? Seidler smiled smugly, Siddle, your lord is really smart. Go ahead and bring their heads. The subordinate patted his ass and left quickly. Just look at the conversation between these two people. I don't know how strong these two are. The New World Four Emperors did not take it seriously. With the order here, the pirate hunters of the Siddle Guild began to act. At that time, Straw Hat crew was being groomed along the coast. A group of people wearing strange armors flew in the air while stepping on what looked like flying saucers. 
Straw Hat Crew, die. Remember that it was the Siddle Guild that killed you. The leader of the squad shouted loudly. The men then took what looked like water pistols at the Straw Hat Crew. Siddle Guild, who have you heard of? Bai Yu looked at everyone, he really didn't remember such a person. I've heard that this guy seems to be the strongest bounty hunter, but he usually targets little pirates. Although he is a bounty hunter, his reputation is very bad. Ace said, it seems that you also know about our Sidre guild, so let you die happily. Fire. The squad leader ordered immediately. Water gun firing. A stream of water came straight to the crowd. Ace, is there something wrong with this group of people's brains? Bayou felt a little funny, and wanted to kill them with the water guns that children played with. I do not know either. Ace has only heard of them, where have they seen these people? If he had seen it before, the Sidler guild would be gone. Bayou gave a cold drink, and Conqueror's hockey cast. The people around them rolled their eyes and fainted. Fun, contraption, seems to be powered by Coke too. The technology is good, it's really useful to deal with ordinary pirates. Frankie is now interested in all things technology. Frankie, can you modify this flying saucer? Chopper said with glowing eyes. No problem. Frankie immediately understood what Chopper meant, and his hands moved quickly. A small flying saucer appeared before Chopper's eyes. Chopper, step on it, control the balance with your feet, the more force you use, the higher you fly. Frankie said, really, can I? Chopper's little face flushed with excitement. Okay, come on Chopper. The crowd immediately cheered on Chopper. Chopper stood on a flying saucer. The flying saucer began to tremble and slowly floated up, but it shook violently. Chopper was also sweating nervously. Ha ha, I can fly. Chopper jumped up excitedly. Then, the flying saucer rushed straight into the sky. Boom. Chopper fell headfirst to the ground. Ha 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 ha. The crowd immediately burst into laughter. Frankie, help me remodel one too. Zoro said, I also want. Idol is idol, so let's play. I also want to try the feeling of flying without ability, so I should be powered by fire only. Change me to only electric drive. No problem. Leave it to the super me. Frankie got to work right away. Now these little toys have no difficulty for him. Bayou also looked at these people speechlessly. As long as it's been with Luffy for a long time, it's not normal. You guys watch Luffy. Don't let him run around when he wakes up. Bayou said helplessly. Okay, leave it to the old man. Jinbei said. Bayou nodded, but Jinbei was still. Frankie, I want a long one. Jinbei ran to Frankie's side and kept gesturing. Forget it, there is no normal one. Bayou shook his head and headed towards Kojima's factory. He wanted to see what this sidler was. Observation hockey opens, scanning the entire island. Why is she here? Bai Yu was amazed, but it soon turned into a smile. Last time at Summit War, he ignored Hancock. Then came New World, and there was no chance. Even he sometimes wants to sneak out by himself and find this pirate queen, Boa Hancock. I didn't expect to meet here, such an opportunity is not easy. Sense Hancock's position, use the ability directly, and disappear in place. When he appeared again, he was already in a bathroom. Then, what? A piercing scream rang out. Damn, how dare you peep at the concubine's bath? Hancock was furious. In love with Ganfang, the pink heart beam instantly enveloped by Yu, who was stunned. This really can't blame by Yu for being stunned. Anyone who sees it will do 0.0. Hancock's beauty is different from Shirahoshi. Shirahoshi is the kind of pure beauty, the kind of beauty that you can't have any distractions, and the beauty that even women can't be jealous of when they see it. And Hancock is exactly the opposite, the kind of mature and seductive beauty that makes you indulge in it. He didn't react until the pink light beam shone on him. This shocked him. If he was petrified at this time, he would definitely be kicked to pieces. But now it was too late to escape. He felt that his body began to stiffen, and there were already symptoms of petrification. Not even hockey can use it. His body slowly turned into stone, and his consciousness began to blur. Did it die like this? It's really not worth it. Chapter 172, Intractable Scars. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. Elder sister. Elder sister. The two sisters rushed in when they heard the movement. When they saw the petrified Ziyu, they were stunned. Afterwards, I looked around the bathroom and it was intact and there was no sign of damage, and they were guarding the door. Where did this person come from? Wait a minute, why does this person look familiar? Marigold looked at Bayou, who had been turned into a stone sculpture. Looks like the deputy captain of Straw Hat Crew. Cold sweat formed on Sandersonia's forehead. They also knew that the Straw Hat Crew had defeated the four emperors B.I.G.M.O.M. They are also very clear about Bayou's terrifying strength. Unexpectedly, this guy would appear here. Also petrified. What do you two think about the door? Hancock questioned loudly. I'm sorry sister. The two apologized immediately. And at this time, the petrified Bayou is slowly recovering. It scared me to death, I almost thought I was going to die. Bayou, who had recovered, let out a long sigh of relief. At the moment when he was petrified, the destructive power in his body reappeared. 
The power of petrification is as fragile as a newborn baby before this destructive force. Without any resistance at all, it was directly swallowed up. After swallowing the power of petrification, Bayou felt that the power of destruction seemed to have grown a little stronger. He didn't even know if it was an illusion. When he wanted to control this power, this power disappeared again. You, how can you be okay? Hancock was taken aback, no one ever recovered from being petrified by her. Meet again, Pirate Queen, Boa Hancock. Bai Yu smiled slightly. Then, in response to him, he was obsessed with Gan Feng. The newly restored Bai Yu, petrified again. But this time it was only petrified for a moment, and he recovered. You or two, Bai Yu didn't finish his words. Petrified again. Hancock rushed over immediately, ready to kick Bai Yu to pieces. You are going to kill me. Bai Yu grabbed Hancock's ankle. Boyer concubine bathing. Damn, Hancock snorted coldly, and pointed the other foot to Bai Yu. I'm not peeping, I'm looking at it openly, just like it is now. Bai Yu disappeared and appeared behind Hancock. Asshole. Hancock growled. Conqueror's hockey erupts. Bai Yu also broke out Conqueror's hockey in its confrontation. Boom. Two strands of Conqueror's hockey collide. The small bathroom could not withstand such a strong force and began to shatter and collapse. The nonsense is almost done, put on your clothes, and don't be seen by others. Bai Yu didn't want others to see Hancock's body. The woman he sees is his. What the hell do you want to do? After Hancock put on his clothes, he looked at Bai Yu with narrowed eyes. After the battle just now, she has calmed down. With the strength of their nine snakes, they are definitely not the opponents of Straw Hat Crew. Especially the person in front of her, not only not afraid of her petrification ability, but also a man with conqueror's hockey. You, Bai Yu answered very frankly. I, Hancock was stunned, completely unresponsive. Yes, didn't you ask me what I want to do? Bai Yu said with a smile. You, Hancock reacted and gritted his teeth angrily. Okay, I won't tease you anymore, we just passed by here, and I didn't expect you to be there, so I stopped by to say hello. Bai Yu looked at Hancock who was about to get angry and quickly explained. You think I'll trust you? Hancock said coldly, if you don't believe me, I can't do anything about it, but why are you here, don't you want to snatch the ant's territory? Bai Yu asked curiously, I just don't have that interest. Hancock said disdainfully, then you're not here to find me, are you? Bai Yu said with a smile. How is this possible? Hancock was dying of anger, she had never seen such a man before. It's the pirate queen and the replicant by you. Kill them. The people from the Seidler guild appeared again. Roll. Hancock was already annoying enough that these flies dared to come and provoke her. Slave arrow. Dense pink arrows flew out. All the members of the Siddle guild turned into stones and fell to the ground. Okay, now let's talk. Bai Yu found a gravel and sat down. Talk about what? Hancock said coldly. Of course it's about you. I can help you remove the mark on your back without hurting your skin. Bai Yu said with a smile. You, how do you know? Hancock's eyes narrowed. I just saw it so clearly. Bai Yu was just halfway through when he saw that Hancock was going to get angry. He quickly changed his words. Don't be impulsive, if you want to clear that shameful mark. What do you know? Hancock clenched her fists, the last thing she wanted to mention. I know all about your experience, that's why I came to you. Bai Yu put away his smile and looked at Hancock with a serious expression, why do you think I killed those trash celestial dragons? Why? Hancock was stunned, and his voice was not so cold. Of course it's because of you. I, Hancock's head turned red instantly, and he'd appeared on the top of his head. The new world is going to be in chaos, you guys hurry back to Daughter's Island, the next target of the world government is Yushichibukai. Bai Yu knew the current situation. It is only a matter of time before the world government will take action against Shichibukai. And now that the four emperors have abolished two, and the balance of the new world has disappeared, Shichibukai is likely to be used as cannon fodder at this time. You can really heal my back. Hancock hesitated, as if he didn't want to mention the word. I've been cured. If you don't believe me, let your two sisters take a look. Bai Yu smiled slightly. Without Hancock speaking, the two sisters quickly ran behind Hancock. It really disappeared. It's amazing. When did it happen? The two sisters were shocked. Although I can heal the mark on your body, I can't remove the mark on your heart. Bai Yu shook his head helplessly. The kind of wound that is engraved in the heart is not so easy to heal. Thank you, Hancock said softly. You're welcome, can you tell me the name of that celestial dragons? Bai Yu asked. Kamal L. Holy, Hancock gritted his teeth and said the name that disgusted her so much. Understood, next time I encounter it, I'll grab it and send it to you. Bai Yu nodded and wrote down the name. Celestial dragons, this kind of garbage, he will never be soft-hearted when he encounters one and kills one. Chapter 173 Zoro and Sanji's first kiss. Light. Inappropriate moments in sports. Lord Seidler. The Straw Hat Pirates and the Nine Snake Pirates are so powerful that our three teams have been wiped out. The subordinates were very panicked. They usually deal with some small pirates with the highest bounty, which is tens of millions. Where have I seen such a powerful pirate, it is not an opponent at all. 
especially the two members of the Straw Hat Pirates. One said he cut more, the other said he kicked more. Just don't think of them as human beings. Well, I haven't hunted big pirates for a long time, and I should do some activities. Where are they now? Seidler rubbed his neck and stood up. The Straw Hat crew is at the pier. The Pirate Queen is now with Bayou, the deputy captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. Quick reports from subordinates. Immediately, let everyone gather, first to deal with the Pirate Empress, and then deal with the Straw Hat crew. Seidel immediately gave the order. He wants to let all his subordinates see his heroic appearance. Yes, the subordinates immediately became excited. Their boss is finally about to make a move. This is known as the world's most powerful pirate hunter. At that time, after Bayou removed the imprint of the dragon's hoof behind the three Hancock sisters. Ready to send them away. The current new world is a giant Uzumaki that can be torn to shreds if you're not careful. Even if the strength of the nine snake pirates is not bad, but with the name of Shichibukai, they will definitely become the target of all pirates. And Marine was happy to let Shichibukai fight the pirates. Anyway, if one Shichibukai dies, they can find another one. I came to my site and wanted to run. Pirate Queen, you can't run away. Seidler shouted loudly. This is the aura of the world's strongest bounty hunter. Lord Seidler. Too powerful. Haki can be like this against Shichibukai. As expected of Mr. Seidel. Hearing the touts of the younger brothers behind him, Seidel's vanity was greatly satisfied. When he defeats the Straw Hat crew, the world will know his name. You recognize. Bai Yu looked at Hancock. Concubine, how can I know such an ugly rude person? Concubine turned him into stone. Hancock looked at Seidel with a murderous look on his face. Forget it, we have to care for the mentally handicapped. Bai Yu shook his head. Well, Concubine listens to you. The murderous look on Hancock's face disappeared instantly, and the tenderness on his face. The speed of changing faces is comparable to the speed of light. Bastard, how dare you underestimate me? I am the strongest bounty hunter in the world. Seidler roared and rushed directly to Bayou. Hado's 58 Wen Lan. Bayou raised his hand, and a huge whirlwind rushed out. Seidler was blown away with all his men. Okay, hurry up and leave, don't worry about anything, go back to Daughter Island and talk. Bayou turned to look at Hancock. Well, the concubine is waiting for you at Daughter Island. Hancock nodded, and reluctantly boarded the pirate ship. I'll find you soon. Bayou waved his hand and watched the nine snake pirates leave. And on the other side of the beach, the people of Straw Hat crew had a lot of fun. Everyone experienced the joy of flying. Liu Kai, swordsman, don't fly around, if you lose it, you will find you. Sanji shouted loudly, lustful chef, what did you say? Zoro looked at Sanji badly. The eyes of the two met, and sparks flickered faintly. Kick you away, hack you, the two shouted in unison. Okay, the foreheads of the two were pressed together, and their noses were also pressed together, so they were almost speechless. Just at this time, Seidler's group flew over. Boom. A man bumped into Zoro's back. Then, this picture is indescribable. The whole world is quiet. All straw hat crew people seem to be in the middle of the body. Bastard, I won't let it go. Seidler stood up, very angry. But before his words were finished, Zoro and Sanji were the only ones who saw. Did Zoro and Sanji kiss? Chopper said in shock. I can't believe that the two of them have such a relationship. Robin sighed. I saw that something was wrong with the two of them. Enel said. Old man's eyes. Jinbei quickly washed his eyes with water style. Everyone has their own hobbies and we should bless them. Ace said. I was so scared that my eyes were about to fall out, although I don't have eyes, kiss hoo hoo hoo. Brooke said exaggeratedly. Jinbei, get me some water, I want to wash my eyes. Nami said quickly. I also want. Vivi couldn't take it anymore, it was the first time she saw such a picture. Quote dot quote. As partners, we can only bless them. Usopp said very seriously. After that, I went to wash my eyes. What are Zoro and Sanji doing? Mary asked suspiciously. Don't look at Mei Li, forget what you just saw. Nami quickly closed Mei Li's eyes. Vomit. The two quickly separated and began to vomit. What happened? Zoro and Sanji what happened to you? Frankie rushed out of the cabin and looked at the two people with a strange expression. These two people were fine just now, why did they vomit? Asshole. Both Zoro and Sanji were full of anger. It almost made them lose their minds. You. Dot you don't mess around. Siddle fell to the ground in fright and kept retreating. He had never seen such a terrible look in his eyes. It doesn't look like a human's eyes at all, it's completely the eyes of a devil. Three swords in a thousand worlds of profound meanings. Qian Zhao Zhao, devil wind feet furious flame. The two fired an angry blow at the same time. Seidler and his subordinates disappeared without a trace in an instant. Even the small island began to shake, as if it were about to shatter. Bayou felt this huge movement and quickly activated his ability to appear around everyone. Bayou, you're back, just now Zoro and Sanji. Before Chopper could finish speaking, Zoro and Sanji grabbed him directly. One with his neck raised, the other with his mouth hanging. Chopper's small body was struggling. You two want to kill Chopper, hurry up and let go. 
Bai Yu said very speechlessly. The two reluctantly let go of Chopper. They kissed. Chopper shouted and hid directly behind Bai Yu. You too. Bai Yu had a question mark on his face. What the hell happened to these two guys? Chapter 174. The End of Blackbeard, Luffy's Second Skill. Holy Land Maria Joy. Inside the science laboratory. Various advanced equipments are in operation. On the huge experimental table in the middle lies a human being more than three meters tall. This person is none other than Blackbeard Teach. After Blackbeard was caught by Sengoku and Garp, he was brought into the laboratory by the world government. A person can only eat one devil fruit at most, which is a conclusion for hundreds of years. But this Blackbeard actually has two devil fruit abilities. How could the world government let it go? If this secret can be found out, the power of the world government will reach its peak. And the person who was born in the research is naturally the world's first scientist, Vegapunk. Blackbeard was stuffed with tubes all over his body. Lying there quietly and motionless. It's not that he doesn't want to move, it's that he can't. Is it over like this? I'm not reconciled. If you let me live, I will never let you go. Bye you. Blackbeard kept screaming in his heart. Start amnestics. A voice sounded. Clear memory. Blackbeard was startled and wanted to break free. It's a pity that he can be active in addition to his thoughts, but his body is out of control. Drive Vegapunk. Clear his memory now. Ask the scientist in the protective suit. I don't want to repeat the same order a second time. 877 Vegapunk was only wearing a mask and no protective clothing. But no one dared to speak of him. Because he is the world's number one scientist, possessing a wisdom that surpasses that of human beings for 500 years. Blackbeard felt his consciousness begin to blur, and his memory dissipated little by little. From now on, your code name is Zero. Vegapunk glanced at the Blackbeard, and the fingers quickly controlled the instrument, transforming the Blackbeard. Drive Vegapunk, here comes Marshal Aokiji. The phone worm made a sound. Understood. Vegapunk took off his gloves, threw them aside and walked out of the lab. Doctor, how's the straw hat crew suit going? Aokiji said very politely. This is not difficult, but the power system of this suit is rather special. Even if it is developed, it is difficult for ordinary people to use it, and it is not very convenient. This suit should only be suitable for transforming people. Vegapunk said. During Summit War, Frankie's first suit was destroyed by the CPOs. The debris also fell into Marine's hands. After seeing the power of the battle suit, how could Aokiji let go of such a good thing? If one can have one in one hand, wouldn't the Marine, BCAA, sweep the sea? However, this result made him very disappointed. Okay, sorry doctor, how's the Blackbeard teach research going? Aokiji asked. Although the suit cannot be used, if the secrets of Blackbeard can be researched, it can also enhance Marine's strength. There is no way, I can only clear his memory and become a transformed person like PX0, of course, his fruit ability can be retained. Vegapunk hesitated and said, Aokiji, this person you marines can't get. I see, goodbye doctor, if possible, please work harder to see if you can solve the problem of the battle suit. Aokiji took a deep breath and calmed down. I will, and if there's any news from Straw Hat crew, please let me know. After Vegapunk finished speaking, he turned and left. Aokiji watched Vegapunk leave, sighed inwardly, turned around and walked out. At that time, Straw Hat crew was celebrating Luffy waking up. Cheers, all toast together. They are now one step closer to Raftal. Two pieces of road sign historical text are available. The next step is to go to Haji to get the third block of the country, and then move on to find the fourth block of road sign history text. That way they can find Raftal and get the legendary treasure. Luffy, congratulations, you finally fully understand eight inner gates, I said as long as you can understand eight inner gates, I will teach you new skills, are you ready? Bayou looked at Luffy with a smile. I'm ready. Luffy shouted immediately. Bayou smiled and touched Luffy's eyebrows. Freedom of the ultimate mind, one of the gods' royal skills from the world of Dragon Ball, fully comprehend will gain power over the gods. Due to different world backgrounds, the effect of the skills will change. Please experience it yourself. Yes, it is this supernatural skill. Bai Yu was also taken aback when he first got this skill. After all, this has power beyond the gods. If Luffy can really be a complete master, then absolutely no one in this world can beat Luffy. Of course, Bai Yu is not among them. Although the skill is powerful, it is also very difficult to comprehend. After all, this skill is the so-called god's royal skill that even the gods cannot fully master. It's so complicated. Luffy frowned, completely ignorant. When teaching eight inner gates, Luffy opened the first gate instantly. But after encountering Zizai Ji Yi Gong, he was at a loss. Don't worry, the more powerful the skill, the harder it is to comprehend. As long as you can comprehend a little bit, your strength will change drastically. Bai Yu said, starting today, you are not allowed to use eight inner gates, even one of them, before you have realized Zizai Ji Gong. What? Luffy fell directly to the ground. When you're fine these days, you take turns fighting Luffy, as long as you don't break the boat, you can fight whatever you want. Bai Yu ignored Luffy and said to the crowd. Luffy can't use eight inner gates, can he? 
Sanji asked. Yes, if he dares to use it, he will not be allowed to eat for three days. Bai Yu said immediately. Bai Yu, no, Luffy screamed, if he was not allowed to eat for three days, he would die. Then control yourself and don't rely on eight inner gates in battle. Shaking his head, he sighed, although eight inner gates are powerful, their damage to the body is also huge. Even if you are a rubber person, if you use them frequently, you will not be able to bear it. Okay, Luffy also knew that Bai Yu was doing it for his own good, so he could only agree. Can I use a knife? Zoro's mouth curled into a smile. Luffy laughs the happiest when it comes to him and Sanji. He had to teach Luffy a lesson. Casual. Bai Yu smiled, how could he not know what Zoro and Sanji were thinking? But this is just right, and it is of great help to Luffy's practice of the ultimate freedom. Look, there's a glowing golden island ahead. Usopp shouted loudly. Hearing the words glow, golden, Nami immediately became excited. Others also looked over curiously. It's not an island, it's a ship. The world's largest entertainment city is on this giant ship. It is also called the Golden City. Bai Yu was also a little surprised, didn't expect to come here. Not bad, though, and make another buck before hitting Kaido. Chapter 175, Gold Casino. Hearing Bai Yu's words, everyone was excited. Golden City, Entertainment City, these two words are enough to attract everyone's interest. Without any surprises, it was unanimously approved. Wanlihang Sunshine went straight ahead and landed in the Golden City. Bakudo of 39 round gate fans. Bai Yu raised his hand to form a huge shield, blocking everyone's heads. Bai Yu, what are you doing? Luffy asked suspiciously. After a while, the gold powder will fall, and the gold powder will be inhaled into the body, which has a great impact on the body. Wow, it really has gold dust. Nami's eyes twinkled with gold. The attachment to money is cultivated since childhood, and it is an attachment that has been etched into the bones. The one that landed on our ship is ours, right? Usopp quickly picked up the broom and started collecting gold dust. Look at me, super vacuum. Frankie roared and pulled out a huge vacuum cleaner. All the gold dust on the ship, including the gold dust falling from the air, was sucked up. Tezolo's mouth twitched on the stage. The five emperors of New World, no, now only the three emperors can be said. Whitebeard retires and Big Mom is defeated. There are only three emperors left in the New World. Such a powerful pirate group would actually be greedy for his gold powder. However, since it is so greedy, it is easy to handle. No matter how strong the strength is, it is useless. In the face of money, all weaknesses are exposed. Warmly welcome the straw hat pirates to the Golden City. Tezolo shouted loudly, there was a round of warm applause and discussion of harmony. The straw hat crew is here. I'm darling. This is big news. Okay, why does it smell like a twist when I listen to you? It's interesting now, maybe not as strong as straw hat crew, but I'm not convinced by gambling. Winning straw hat crew should feel good. It's a bunch of desperate guys, don't think that straw hat crew can be bullied at a young age, and don't forget how aunt is gone. Welcome everyone from the straw hat pirates to the Golden City. I am Tezolo, the manager of the Golden City. Next to me is the guide Bakara who is in charge of receiving everyone. Hello, distinguished guests. The two smiled and said hello very politely. Don't be so polite, take us to experience the world's first entertainment city. Bai Yu glanced at the two of them, but didn't break it down. Since it's here, let's play a wave first. The latter thing is said later. Okay. Tezolo clapped his hands, and two luxury cars drove over. Let Bakara take you around the city first, I'll be waiting for you in the entertainment city. After Tezolo finished speaking, he bowed and left. Everyone, please get in the car, let's go. Bakara said with a smile. This was the first time she received such a powerful pirate group, and she was a little flustered. Bai Yu took the three daughters and little lowly Mei Li and sat in the back of the car. Luffy's group crammed into a car. It's all gold. If you steal one of these, you can sell it for a lot of money. Usopp is also binocular. My thief's blood has begun to boil. Nami looked at the glittering gold on the street, her eyes turning completely golden. Guys, it's better not to steal, you look around. Bakara's forehead left a cold sweat. If it was other guests, she would issue a warning directly. But she didn't dare to. If you like it, this place will be ours from now on. Bai Yu said very directly. Yeah, Nami nodded quickly. The whole ship is made of gold, how can it be worth tens of billions of baileys? She had never seen so much money before. Cold sweat broke out on Bakara's forehead. She didn't expect that straw hat crew would dare to make an idea here. And just say it in front of her, no one has any taboos at all. Bakara, are you hot? Why are you sweating all the time? Luffy asked curiously. No, no, I'm prone to sweating. Bakara explained quickly. Oh, let's hurry up and go to the playground. Luffy shouted excitedly. It's an entertainment city, not a playground. Dot for flowers oh oh. Zoro corrected. Is it different? Luffy scratched his head, then go to the entertainment city, go to the amusement park. If he could tell the difference, he wouldn't be Luffy. Ace sighed, this little brother was really worried. Don't worry, everyone, before entering the entertainment city, 
change into clothes that are more in line with your identities. Bakara said, she must inform Lord Tezolo of the purpose of the Straw Hat crew. Then the two cars stopped in front of a clothing store. After everyone walked in, everyone's eyes lit up. Although the clothes here are ridiculously expensive, they are very beautiful. Every VIP can choose a set of clothes for free. Bakara said, free, Nami was instantly happy. Otherwise, a dozen of them would have to buy tens of millions of baileys for clothes. Others also immediately began to choose clothes. And Bakara stepped aside, picked up the phone bug and contacted Tezolo to report the situation. Bayou didn't stop him either, just pretended he didn't know what to do. After everyone changed their clothes, they went directly to the entertainment city. This is the largest entertainment city in the world. All entertainment items and facilities are readily available here. This is a 100 million Bailey chip to advance you. Bakara said and let the staff come over with chips. There are so many of us who take 100 million, who do you look down on? 100 million for one person. Bai Yu shouted loudly. Bai Yu. Don't bet so big, right? Nami was also taken aback. There are 14 people on their boat now, that's 1.4 billion Baileys. If you win it's fine, if you lose it's over. The gamble is to bet big, I believe our luck must be very good. Bai Yu smiled slightly. They are pirates. If they lose, they can just grab it back. What are they afraid of? I can't make the decision, I need to ask Lord Tezolo. Bakara said quickly, go get the chips. Tezolo came out, but he wanted to see how the straw hat crew took his turf. Zero. 